Hello everybody! Happy New Year! Welcome in, welcome in! It's so good to see you! I need a minute. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed right now. You guys are so nice. Thank you for coming here and starting the new year with me. I'm gonna cry already. Sorry, I'm a little emotional. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome in. Happy January. Happy new year. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna put on my big girl pants. Thank you for the follow friend, welcome in. Anyone who's new here, my name is Elena Monster. But you can call me Elena or Elmo. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a cozy variety streamer. I am just a simpy little... Simpy? No, I'm not simpy. No, I'm not a shrimp. I'm simply a little baby. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. If anyone wants to introduce themselves, please feel free, but there is no pressure. Um, My activity feed is absolutely flooded <laughs> with daily pets and daily treats this is so cute oh my goodness um as i'm sure you can all tell or people who have been here before at least i have made some changes to the channel ollie is no longer collecting taxes i've made the executive decision that that's not really <laughs> the way i want my channel to keep going i know it's kind of what i've been known for for a little while but I felt like having, recently at least, and by recently I mean I've been thinking about making this change for at least half a year. I think that um, the community was taking it a little bit too seriously. Nobody's at fault, I'm not mad at anyone or anything, but I think that having like half the community be taxpayers and half the community be tax evaders, like there was just a little too much debate that not everybody can tell when we're kidding and not. And I was like, you know what, let's just unify it for everyone. Let's all be on the same side if that's, you know, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but welcome in everyone. Let me go ahead and um, scroll through a million years of my activity feed to figure out who got first. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> there's a lot to scroll through. I'm hoping I haven't lost chat messages yet because chat's kind of popping. I've lost chat messages. Guys, I can't even go back to the beginning of chat because you're so cute and so nice to me. Um, so I'm sorry if I missed some messages from the beginning. I Whew, Let's get going, gamers. Let's start reading. Um, congratulations, Sky, for redeeming first today. Yummy got almost first, Kes got almost first, and Yama got almost first. Thank you, everyone, for the daily treats and daily pets. I hope you forgive me if I don't read every single one of them right now because I'm losing messages quickly. And so I kind of want to try to get caught up, but I'm going to go through the um, activity feed and say hello to all the people, at least, um, that I can see, at least. Forgive me, I'm learning to read. My goal for 2024 is to learn to read. <laughs> Thank you for the streamer pets. It's going to take me a minute to get caught up and say hello to everyone, but... We're just gonna do like some cozy Animal Crossing today. My anxiety is high. When I tell you I did not sleep last night because I was so scared everyone was gonna hate me for getting rid of the Ollie tax. Like I could not sleep. And then like a bunch of other things happened this morning. It's been a bit of a shaky start to the year for me. So I was like, you know what? Simple stream. We're gonna make some silly little houses and it'll be a-okay. Um, Utter, Sky, Yummy, welcome in. Kes, get some good sleeps. Go back to bed. Yama, it's good to see you. Alex, thank you for being here and supporting me. Tabitha, hello. Uberaith, welcome in. Um, we've got Ali, my beloved. Welcome in, welcome in. I have officially made our Pinecone post in my Discord now. If you guys missed it, Ali started a stream team called Pinecone, which I'm a founding member and team leader of. We would love to see your applications when we open them next week. So there's information in my Discord about that if you want to check it out. Have welcome in, it's good to see you. Princess Kayla, welcome in. Murphy, hello. Strawberry Milk, it's so good to see you again. Simply my beloved, thank you for all your kind words lately. White Rosebud, hello, hello. Brenda, hello, it's good to see you. Jade, welcome in. Doves, welcome in. Taraj, welcome in. Thank you for your daily re redeems. Rose and Tempe. Oh my gosh, Tempe, Tulip, and Rose are here together. We got our flower pals hanging out back to back. Cinnamon, hello, Josh, welcome in, welcome in. We have Lee in here, Lee and Gabs. It's so good to see you both. Thank you, friend, for that new follow if you want to introduce yourself, but no pressure. Um, North, it's so good to see you, welcome in. 
Gabs, I'm going to do your random sticker poll right now because otherwise it's going to get lost in the sauce. So first sticker poll of the year. Hold on, this is so awkward. Where are my stickers? <laughs> There's no stickers in here. Where did all my stickers go? <laughs> what happened? Hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll loop back to that. I have to figure out where my stickers are. Maybe we won't start with a sticker pull. <laughs> That's interesting. Not sure what's going on there. Um, Bonnie, welcome in. Encounter Blood, welcome in. Let me try to read some of the chat messages I still have access to. Um, sorry if it wasn't letting you pay things, Sky. I think you were able to figure it out. We love you, moi, Tabitha. Thank you. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I was so sure everyone was going to hate me for, like, changing the channel branding a little bit. I've done, like, new overlays and stuff. Like, there's no Ollies everywhere. I know everybody really likes Ollie, and I think he's cute. He's still going to be, like, a channel mascot. He's just not going to be, like, this sentient evil overlord that everyone is fighting about, if that makes sense. I want us to, like, tone it down a little bit. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm so sorry I'm so far behind and I have no idea <laughs> how far behind I am. Um, enjoy all of your drinks though. We've had a couple legendaries get caught. Somebody caught a dark rye. Yummy caught Dialga. I think it was Kiraj that caught dark rye as well. Enjoy all your drinks. Indeedy is not that slay of a Pokemon Tabitha. I'm so sorry. Happy New Year, Lee. Thank you everyone for the Happy New Year's and the hellos. And all of the love, anyone who's lurking, thank you so much for the lurks. Cam, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. I don't know where my Nintendog is, so my alerts are being a little funky. Let me refresh that. Happy 11 months and happy New Year's to you as well, Kev. Hi, and my daily sub counter updated. I switched it over from the like Streamlabs one to the Mix It Up counter, so it's good to see that that worked. Yippee! And it was actually on less of a delay than the other one is, which is kind of good to see as well. Hopefully the, f on the next alert comes through okay. The follow one came in okay, so I don't really know why some of them work, but some of them don't. Um, Josh caught a meow. Alex is lurking. Alex, thank you so much for being here. Elena plus reading is a deadly combo. I know I'm going to be so powerful when I learn to read this year. Shraptor, welcome in. It's so good to see you again. Happy New Year's. Cinnamon caught a scraggy. Imagine how powerful she'd be if she could do it. I know. I'm going to really try my best guys to learn to read this year. I'm really working on it. Happy New Year, Allie. Happy New Year, everybody. Also, Ollie Bots is Boss Ollie Bot. I just renamed the bot, so... My bot is going to come in on um, a different name now because he's not my boss anymore. He's just Ollie. <laughs> I forgot I had 160p on. And I was like, why is she crunchy? Oh, no. <gasps> Cam, thank you so much for the two gift subs to the community. That's our daily sub goal done. Hold on. Let me see. Osmo and Wanda kicking around here. Osmo, Wanda. Guys, I don't know where anything is after I moved. I thought I, I did know things. Wait. Cosmo and Wanda are still lost. I'm sorry. I promise I'll find them this week. I'm still trying to find everything after the move. <laughs> but I swear, I'll find them. I'll find them. And I'll find the stickers, which are not in the envelope. Literally, there's nothing in here. It's an empty envelope. I don't think I took the stickers out of it, but I must have. I probably at some point was like, oh, I should put them in a safe space and like to stop them from spilling everywhere. But then I didn't write down what that safe space was when I was packing. So that's very Ako Taco. I know, Murphy, I want to cry. I'm so overwhelmed. You guys have been so sweet and supportive. I really thought everyone was going to go into the Discord after my announcement and be like so upsetty spaghetti with me. Kev, thank you for the gift sub to Ali. Kev, you're spoiling me. And I'm not even close to being caught up on chat to see what you guys are saying. I'm so, so sorry. I'm going to speed through it a little bit. If one of my mods for now could refund Gabs on the sticker, I guess I have to disable that again because I thought I had my stickers. I was like, oh, great. The envelope is here. I don't know where anything is. I'm overwhelmed. Random sticker pull. Disable it for now. I'll find them. I promise. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. 
Um, <laughs> I know too many people are getting with the tax fraud and all that stuff. Like, I just, I want us to move away from that a little bit. Like, there'd be people like, oh my God, Elena, this person evaded taxes. And I'd be like, that's cool. I don't really care. It's not real. Like, we don't need to go after each other for if they do the Daily Redeem or not. And it was just starting to stress me out a little bit. I hope that you're having fun with Pokemon Violet, Bonnie. I'm back. Welcome back, Shraptor. I'm sorry. I'm super behind on chat right now. I say for the sticker full that it's stickers. I'm so sorry. I don't know where they went. What did I do with them? Where are my stickers? <laughs> you would think that if they had all like fallen into a box, I would have like seen them. So guys, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Never could hate you. Thank you. And yeah, I completed my Evolution collection. My Umbreon came in the mail this week. So now I have all of my Eevees above me and I'm very excited. Holly went into retirement, decided to have a calm time. Right? Ollie's New Year's resolution was to stop being corrupt and awful. So he's just chill now. <laughs> They're so cute up on the top shelf. Thank you. Yeah, I do have all of the Funkos. For the evolutions i'm super excited about it hi popcorn welcome in daily reminder everyone's amazing and hardworking and can get through anything don't forget that oh, agreed we all need that good energy going into the new year red robo reggie welcome in um oh my gosh cat and tefra got the gift subs that's so exciting kev i really really appreciate it you gave yourself a lip piercing oh my goodness that is so cool i hope you did it in like a safe good environment and that you have like training to do so but i hope it heals well <laughs> oh yeah I, I did my nails this week too i'm back in my pastel bs because the red christmas nails were fun for like two seconds and then i was like i miss my pastel soft baby vibes so that's what we're going for cosmo and wanda ate slick i literally like they have to be in one of these drawers right Oh, wait. Okay, these aren't the stickers, but these are some stickers. So we're gonna pull one of these and see what we get. These ones weren't in my envelope because I deemed them not worthy of being in the envelope, but some stickers is better than none. This is what I have to reveal that my envelope of stickers for stream is only half the stickers that I have. Oh, this one's kind of cute though, Gabs. I don't know if you got refunded your points or not. If you did, just have a free sticker. I have the little doggy giving a little kiss to the kitty for you. Is that good enough? <laughs> Sometimes if the stickers aren't like super nerdy, I don't put them in the envelope. So those are some of my backup. Those are my emergency stickers. <laughs> but Gabs, I'll put this one in the book for you when I get that figured out. We have a sticker, guys. Don't worry. They're kicking around somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, Cosmo and Wanda, are, they're just off. They're busy. Rio, it's so good to see you. I'm sorry I'm missing so many messages. I'm such a bad streamer. Yes, you have the little uwu now, Ali. Let's go. It's my new favorite emote. I think it's so funny. <laughs> Thank you for refunding the point, Utter. Yeah, since that's not an official stream sticker, Gabs can have it for free. Happy New Year's, Okabe. Thank you. I'm proud of you for everything you've done, too. Happy New Year to our gorgeous monster as well as chat. Allow me to welcome y'all to the Year of the Dragon. Woot woot, let's go. That's such a cool year. It's good to see you. Hi, Ketchup. Welcome in. Thank you. I moved recently, so everything's a little bit different, a little bit chaotic. I don't know where half my stuff is, and I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I have zero trading, and I bought a $20 kit on Amazon. I got double ear piercings, a helix, an eyebrow, and a lip piercing. Please be safe. That's all I can say. I hope it all goes okay. It's purple. It's yellow. What's purple? What's yellow? <laughs> I got refunded. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. Hi, Machi. Welcome in. It's good to see you. The Marina portrait isn't dead. It's hanging on the wall in front of me. You can't see it, but I can see it at all times. <laughs> the three artworks, I have Appa on my wall, I've got Evie on my wall, and I've got Marina on my wall. Because in my last house, I wasn't allowed to hang things on the wall. But now Mr. Rossetti is on the wall behind us. It says... <laughs> I literally love this piece of art so much. It says no regretties, and it's Rossetti from Animal Crossing, who if you're a New Horizons only player, 
you might not know him well, but he's my homeboy. <laughs> so I have wall art up now, which is super exciting. Yeah, we're gonna play some Boom Bears. I'll be safe, but I look hecka epic. Let's go. I have six piercings and two tattoos myself. I've got, what arm is my tattoo on? This arm, <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> I have a tattoo of a moon and a flower here. I have like, you might be able to see like a tiny little bit of it right there. I have an art palette and a paintbrush on my shoulder. And then I have a helix, double lobes on each side, and I have my belly button pierced as well. So I'm all for tattoos and piercings, just in a safe environment. <laughs> Chris said he was my bestie in New Leaf. I know, I love him so much. So he's hanging up there right now. I keep flipping like what I have on my walls as I try to figure out where I want to put everything. Um, I do have tattoos. I do. I have two. They're just like never visible because like how often are you guys going to really see this one? It's like very hidden and even now it's still partially hidden, but I have one like in my back area. And then this bad boy, you'll be able to see it more now. My old stream room was in a very cold, dark basement. So I wore sweaters all the time, but I can actually wear t-shirts and like short sleeves in this stream room. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that I have tattoos and I'm cool. Cause also like I have six piercings, but they're always covered. I'm only wearing in my second lobe piercings right now. I don't even have main earrings in, but I do have like helix and all of that. You just can't see them usually cause I wear headphones and then obviously clothing over my other ones. <laughs> but I swear I'm a cool kid guys. I swear I'm a cool kid. <laughs> We will do boom bears. I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. It's still in my noggin. Steph, thank you for the work and lurk. Happy New Year. I appreciate it. Should get some sleep. It's pretty late here. Except no, it's not. It's not. It's 1220 p.m. Yummy. Stray kids, thank you for the confetti. It's good to see you. I'm going to have to get boom bears open. Give me a minute. I'll be leaving 2024 with a tattoo and a nose pierced. Mark my words. Allie, you're going to be so much. I mean, you're always hot. But I truly believe that piercings and tattoos make everybody hotter a million percent. They're so cool. It's such a fun way of like self-expression. Slay, Ali. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Happy January 1st. Thank you, Logan. You too. Hey, Grandma gave me this hot chocolate cone and all the marshmallows are melted together. <laughs> It'll still taste delicious, though. I forget that you're cool with your tats, even though you were born in the 2000s. I know, I can't believe I'm an adult. It's crazy. So much gayer looking is the hope. Allie, you're gonna slay. It's gonna be so perfect. That's why I got them. I struggle because no guys want to date a trans guy, so I make maybe piercings will give me game. I hope it works for you, Shrafter. I'm really rooting for you. Let me get Boom Bears open. Um, I'm gonna close Google for now because it's kind of a resource intensive. Let's head over here. Isabella's been chilling, waiting for me for a hot second now. But hopefully Boom Bears, there it is. I was going to say Boom Bears will pop up eventually. I'm going to move my camera up here for now. Okay, if I do this, does it freeze Boom Bears? No, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. If you type exclamation join in chat right now, you should see a little bear pop up with your Twitch username on it, and then they will all fight to the death in about a minute. So if you want to participate in a little chat game before we do some Animal Crossing, um, feel free to type exclamation join. I'm also supposed to be getting a third tattoo this year, I think. My mom and I want to get like matching My Neighbor Totoro tattoos, which I'm super excited about. I think it'll be really cute. But maybe I should like get a job and stuff first before I go and get more tattoos and piercings because not all employers are going to like that. I have a basic ear piercing. I want some more ear piercings, a nose piercing and a tattoo. I hope you can get them, Rose. I literally love like body art so much. I think it's so cool. I got my main ears done when I was like a kid. I don't know when. I got my second earlobe piercings in high school. I got my helix pierced. When I was 16, I got my belly button pierced like two days after I turned 18. I got my first tattoo when I was 18. And then I think I got my last one, my most recent thing, my arm tattoo when I was 19. So it's been a hot minute. I'm now 21. I need to get back on it, get back on the grind. 
want a tattoo but saving for a retreat oh that's fair too yeah they are expensive oh my gosh raptor is already taken out no kev was killed by utter yummy is taken out as well i'm killed by murphy murphy how could you man this is this is like how our 2024 is gonna go this is not a good omen for me brenda killed brenda oh no <laughs> no <laughs> rose killed rose ally was taken out by machi we're gonna do three rounds so remember who your enemies are tabitha fell off the edge <laughs> utter and gabs take out each other murphy is taken out by kiraj we've got what do we got going on? It's actually like super small for me. I gotta make this bigger. Stray Kids taken out by Yama as well. <gasps> Kess taken out by Sky. Kiraj taken out by Kiraj. Oh no, we're down to simply Yama and Sky. I feel like Sky's been on like kind of a Boom Bears streak right now. So excited to watch more gameplay! Yes, Ali, I want full reports. Oh, and Ali, I watched the Hunger Games movie, so I have to chat with you about that. <gasps> Simply, congratulations on your one kill. Your first Boom Bears win too. Simply, this is gonna be your year. That's the first Boom Bears victory of 2024 on our channel. Channer? Channel. Getting a top ear piercing around January 6th, an outer helix piercing. Good luck with your healing, Gabs. It's um ear piercings, especially cartilage ones, can take a while to heal, but it's okay. Hi Mars, welcome in. Happy New Year. Hi, Boomer isn't the smartest. Mine neither. I died for it. It's okay. <gasps> Allie, if you let me know when the watch things are going, I can do my best to pop in. It's a busy week for me right now. Um, but that's okay. Good night, Moon. Thank you so much for the pets for Ollie. Let's get another game going. Play. It should be the same deal this time. Type exclamation join in chat and you should see your little bear pop up. I will move myself over here where I'm not covering all of like the little pop ups for now. I don't want to cover any of the action. I made this like camera location specifically for when we play Boom Bears. <laughs> I have to sneeze. Meg, welcome in. It's good to see you. How's it going? Stray kids, welcome to the fight as well. Yeah, you guys have about 40 more seconds to type exclamation join in chat to get in on round two out of three of Boom Bears. I'm literally distraught. Where is Cosmo and Wanda? And where are my stickers? Guys, I'm overwhelmed. I guess after stream, I'm going on a little scavenger hunt for some of my stuff. I thought that they were in my drawer, but I was oh so wrong. I was so incorrect. <laughs> Happy New Year. How are you? I'm okay, Meg. I have had a very high anxiety morning. I didn't sleep barely at all last night because I was very scared that everyone was going to hate me. Um... <laughs> Big, I, it's not even that big a deal but I was like what if they hate me if I don't have the taxes on my channel like what if everyone is gonna shun me and cancel me for changing that so I didn't get a lot of sleep and then some other stuff is going on in my personal life that has me a little on edge but I'm trying to be positive and go into the year with like a good outlook so we're just gonna see what the rest of the day has in store for me it's never too late to have a good day as long as I'm still awake, there's still time. Mars, Yummy, and Simply all taken out at the same time. The crown is up for grabs. Machi taken out by Yama. We've got a cluster in the front. Utter killed by Rose. Jade, Yama, and Stray Kids all taken out simultaneously as well. Sky is hovering around the corner. Kess is hovering around the corner. Kess kills Ali. Shraptor is taken out by Meg from the side. Elena's still going. Run away, Elena! Murphy's got a gun. <laughs> Don't die, please. <laughs> this is like cornucopia logic. Just run away. Don't get involved. See, Logan takes out Meg for being too close to the middle. What's going on? <gasps> Murphy taken out by Alex. Kess taken out by Kess in a miscalculation. Tabitha's gone. Gabs is gone. No, no. I, I got hit by Logan, but I'm still standing for now. Kiraj was literally standing still. Free kill for me. Alex taken out by Kev. Final four, Logan, myself, Sky, and Kev. Never mind, Sky and I are down. F the mod team. Kev and Logan for the win. <laughs> Good luck, gamers. You have the same amount of health. Kev had a bomb fall on his head. <laughs> and so Logan got the win. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kev, that was such bad luck. I'm so sorry. So close. GG's, guys. Last round. I was trying to tip my dog to sit and shake at the same time and accidentally yelled a secret combo word. <laughs> yeah, me, I'm sure your, your dog training sounds like it's going great. You, they'll get it eventually. <laughs> Kev, I'm so sorry. That was so unfortunate for you. Last chance, gamers, and then I swear we're gonna play some Animal Crossing. <laughs> we have DLC houses to join. Um, I'm gonna lurk. I've got a pack for my upcoming trip and then head to my girlfriend's for a little New Year's get together. And maybe periodically, but I hope to have good rest of stream when your anxiety eases. Thank you, Mars. Have a fantastic start to your new year. I'm excited that you guys are doing a little get together. I get to see my partner tonight, but it's not going to be till like midnight or 1 a.m. because they're um, they're coming home from Cuba today. My partner's on a travel day coming home and I'm super excited to see them. Also, we've been live for 30 minutes. Never mind. I was going to say someone grabbed the Korok, but Yama, unbeatable. Cannot be stopped. <laughs> I really tried, guys. I'm trying to help you out here, but <laughs> Yama is so on top of that. <laughs> 20 more seconds to any of our lurkers to get back into Boom Bears. Mars, thank you for that lurk. Enjoy your trip. I am excited to see what the new year holds. I love 2024, Elena Monster. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm so sorry. I'm covering the screen like a goofy goober. That was silly of me. Okay, good luck, everybody. You guys are going to crush this. I love you guys so much. I really want this year to be a good year for the channel. And I don't mean that like in... um a numbers way I don't really fixate on like what my average viewership is follower amount is like that's too stressful for me I just want us to move into like an even more positive direction which is why I'm making like little changes with the redeems and stuff I want to make the vibes even better <laughs> cast me out immediately no utter was taken out as well oh my gosh the mods are falling fast right now holy moly Allie is taken out by Kev. Allie, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, Rose was just pushed. That's so sad. Shrapta, you just pushed Rose to their death. <laughs> See, Mars gets it right now. Shrapter is taken out for killing Rose. Rose, you've been avenged. Jade kills Kiraj. Okay, okay. We got this, guys. We got this. Elena is at full health. Just run, Elena. Just walk away. Just leave. <laughs> Logan is taken out as well. Jade taken out by Yummy. Elena, just go the other way. Don't get involved. Yes, yes, yes. Just... No! <laughs> Machi, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I know, Machi, you and I had, like, full health the whole time. Nice work, Machi. Good job to all of our victors. I really wanted to just wait that out, but what can you do? <laughs> I love you too. Thank you for being such a safe and welcoming place for us to be. This is my second home on the internet. Thank you. I love you so much. You guys are so sweet to me. I really do appreciate it. Look, we're playing Animal Crossing, I promise. This is an Animal Crossing stream. Okay, so this is this is confession hour. This is really funny to me. Um, sometimes when like a first time chatter raids me and like we don't know each other yet, I go and I watch the end of their VOD to see like what made them choose the channel, like to see kind of like what people like, what people don't like, that kind of thing. And so somebody raided us while we were playing Boom Bears the other day. <laughs> And they were coming from the Animal Crossing community, and I went and watched the end of their VOD to see, like, why they chose my stream to raid. They were like, oh, well, she looks super cute. She looks super nice. She's playing some weird game that doesn't really look like Animal Crossing, so I don't really know what's up with that. And I'm like, not the Boom Bears, please. <laughs> it's just really funny, like, hearing her confusion being like, I don't really know what she's doing, but we're, we're going to go say hello. I don't know what that is. <laughs> It was so, so funny. Um, enjoy The Sims, Meg. I hope you have fun. I know, we're actually on New Year's Day in the game. Right now, I'm prismatic. Just kidding. We're actually on December 31st. Ako Taco. Let's go up. Sync the clock. It's not New Year's Eve anymore. <laughs> you guys saw nothing. <laughs> but her outfits are really cute. I do that 
too, right, Ali? Because usually it's like, it's educational for me. Um, Because I can see, like, sometimes people will be like, oh, like, she plays the same categories as me, or oh, her overlays are cute or whatever. Like, I like seeing why new people choose us over, like, someone they already know, for example. But it's the way that she was so confused by the boom bears, but still decided to raid. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta stop. I gotta lay off the boom bears. <laughs> I love vibe checking on raids, right? And because I also, I do my very best to remember to go and check out, like, I don't just watch the end of the VOD where they talk about me because that would be so self-centered. Like I skip through and watch like sections of the VOD so I can understand their channel a little bit better too. Um, cause like you're meeting a new person, obviously they're coming in and getting to see my stream, but I don't get to see theirs. So I go and I watch some of the VOD and then I see what they, they say at the end. And it's just really funny to me how that worked out. It's okay. We're not actually laying off the boom bears. Look, Gaston is on our island now. We're one step closer to the full rainbow. Have a good lunch, Utter. Thank you so much for the support and for hanging out with me last night while I was sad. I won't lie, everyone. Okay, I know it's annoying. I've been talking about my personal life so much recently, and I'm sorry. I'll lay off it soon, but New Year's for me, for like the past seven years, I've always spent it with my partner, and it's the first year in a long time that I wasn't able to. So last night, I wasn't really in a party mood. I was like, I'm just going to sit at home in a quiet VC with some friends and play some Sims and kind of let the year roll over and so Kess and Utter were keeping me company last night while I was like a little bit sad and butthurt that I <laughs> I couldn't be exactly doing what I wanted to do okay now it's January 1st perfect fantastic it's the new year <laughs> Cassidy you're not late we're literally just booting up the game Cassidy it's good to see you happy new year's yeah very Ako taco oh my gosh snow boys we should make a snow boy I love getting roasted by them when you make them wrong Also, I went back. Oh, I updated what my house looks like. When did I do that? We were on the same day for a while because like we were villager hunting. This is a cute house. I'm good with a yellow and green house. Like I'm fine with that. That's okay. <laughs> it's not fair to talk about snow because I still haven't gotten any. I know I live in Canada way up in the north with the igloos and the polar bears and there still isn't snow down outside my window it's so upset i am so upset about it i know i do want to normalize being sad and butthurt though i played uno with my parents during new year's eve we paused a short bit to send messages to family and friends and just continued after <laughs> i uh, yeah i was just playing the sims in uh and i was also drafting my announcement that i released this morning Ugh. <sighs> I don't have polar bears where I live. Sorry to disappoint. Fake advertising. Um, let's pick a cute little outfit. How do we feel about these little like rainbow overalls? They're kind of pastel and I know we're trying to get away from pastel, but this is our rainbow island. I've also got this one, which I think is super cute. I love this shirt. <laughs> eh, thank you for your honesty, Shrapter. Alternatively, we have froggy chair, <laughs> which I know is a, a fan favorite. The second one, okay. I do like the second. Uh, never mind, cancel that. Froggy. <laughs> okay, we can go with the froggy sweater. I'm okay with that. We're gonna be have to wear like our um our DLC outfit because we are gonna head to the DLC. But I'm okay with starting the day with froggy chair. That's kind of funny, kind of silly. But we'll probably have to change our hair color again because it looked so bad with the green before. Let's, we can do the green outfit though. Froggy chair to start the new year. How could, how could we not? I don't know what shoes to wear though. Thank you for the hydrate, Kayla. I appreciate it. I think the deer rig is pretty cute too. I might go with that. I don't know what shoes I want to wear though. I try to get like multiple colors of the rainbow into my outfit, but like right now we're, uh, we're not really getting more colors. I really want to use the LaBelle clothes more, but they're just so ugly. What can you do, right? Yeah, this is the Rainbow Island. I can show you guys what we've been working on. There hasn't been a lot of developments lately, to be honest, because we've been villager hunting and um, doing the DLC. 
but I'll show you guys here. Let me also pin um, the island message just because people like to know when they when they come in. So I'll, I'll put that at the top of chat as well. Thank you for showing your pride. This is Rainbow Land. I think this is the look for the day. We're going to rock the froggy chair, but I think we're going to. Oh, no, not the closet, not the closet. I know the rain boots are one of my favorite shoes, actually. I think that they're super cute, but I don't think that they go with this outfit very well. I think we have to make our hair orange for um, when we do the DLC. So we'll go with this. It's got some contrast. It makes it kind of bright, which is fun. Hi, girl. Welcome in. Party time. Welcome in. Thank you for your daily redeems. I appreciate it. I have short term memory. I'm just making sure that I paid mine already. OK, I did. I think. Happy New Year's, everybody. I found an outbreak of Piplup. I'm so jealous. I really am. Oh, hi, Biff. What can I do for you? There are no more taxes, Tiger. Um, you can check out the Discord um, announcement I posted this morning. I explained it more there, but we switched it to pets and treats. <laughs> Super cute with the ginger, right? I think it's kind of fun. I'm not usually an orange person, but I, I think it'll look good with the DLC stuff we have to wear. Or get some custom phone icons for my brother. Cassie, that sounds so cool. <laughs> Look at the froggy chair. This outfit is actually so fire. Anyways, we are making this rainbow island. Those two are completely blocking what I want to show you, but it's going to be very colorful, very bright. I actually want to go and grab the, um, do I have enough Nook Miles for it? Yeah, I do. I want to grab some more of the like the dirt paths from the Nook Miles because we recently unlocked terraforming and I just want to make sure that we have more of the resources available to us. Animal Crossing storage consists of 99% clothes, really? Mine is definitely um, more furniture based because I usually wear custom patterns in Animal Crossing. Hi, Kat! Happy New Year! I hope you had a good end of your year and that you're having a positive start to your new one. Oh, I get bonus Nook Miles because it was closed yesterday. Yippee! <laughs> but yeah, I usually wear custom dresses and shirts, so I don't have that many clothes in my storage. So I, I kind of enjoy, like, making my own and then also using other people's. Let me see. I want us to definitely have this dark dirt path because we'll be using that when we do the DLC as well. I'm like not where I want to be sitting in my frame. There we go. <laughs> oh, a thunderous. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure he's like the, the big scary one that's like on the storm cloud. Where did you get froggy chair? So this was a custom code. Let me look at it. I might have it saved. What's it called? Is it just called Froggy Chair? If you look up Froggy Chair Sweater, it has to be spelled that way. But if you look up Froggy Chair Sweater in the, um, the design portal, you should be able to find the sweater if you go to the clothing tab. Hi, Mari. So hungry. I haven't eaten since last year. Mari, you've got to go get some food. Oh, yeah, I probably should have tried to have like a, a cooler breakfast. I just had a muffin as my first thing of the new year. Oh, yeah, sorry. If you don't have um, Nintendo online, then you can't download other people's designs, unfortunately. Let's go find Rio should have moved in and Gaston lives here now. I think Gaston was out and about. Is this Rio's house? That's going to need to be changed too. Rio, where are you? Rio, it's just like a flattened wasteland on my island, so surely it can't be that hard to find a bright red bird, right? Rio, I want to meet you. I want to see you. You're going to be the queen of the island. Hello? Sometimes they hang out on the beach, so maybe I should check the beach. Let's see. Kevin, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the flight deck. Hi, everybody. Oh my goodness, I the first rain of the year. Hi everyone. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you all. Kevin, thank you so much for bringing your people over. Chaos Lily, hello, hello. We have, um, let's see, is it Belza? 
If I'm saying your name wrong, please feel free to correct me. It's Opiko. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. I do keep my follows anonymous just in case you guys don't want to be perceived, but thank you for the follows. If you want to introduce yourselves, please feel free. My name's Elena Monster, but you can call me Elena or Elmo. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a variety streamer, but I'm a huge Nintendo fan, so I play a lot of like Pokemon, Animal Crossing. I really like the Zelda franchise. I also have been streaming a lot of The Sims 4 recently as well. Hi, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Raiders! Mia, Happy New Year! Welcome in! Is it, is it like, I know a lot of people with the X's at the end, like the beginning and end of the username, it's silent. Um, so is it Belza or do you have like, feel free to let me know what you'd like me to call you because I might be butchering your username. Yeah, feel free to call me Elmo. Melena is my personal fave, right? We do have some people also call me Melena. Feller Melly works. Thank you so much for letting me know. I'm going to make a little note of that. It's so nice to meet you. If any of you guys do have to raid and run, that is a-okay. Please put yourselves first. Get some food, get some water, get some rest. I know I've been live for 45 minutes, but first stream of the year, we did a lot of just chatting at the beginning. So you guys are really getting here as we're essentially starting the gaming part of the stream. So you haven't missed a whole lot. We're going to be doing some just cozy, like low-key um, decorating today because it's the new year. Sometimes that can be overwhelming for people. It's a little overwhelming for me. People keep asking me like what my new year's um, resolutions are. And I'm like, well, I'm in my last year of university. So my goal for the year is to graduate university and to get a job. And that feels very big and overwhelming and powerful for me. So I'm trying to just like pace myself a little bit and like not nitpick a ton of little things. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate it. You guys are so sweet. Um, Faye and Fair, thank you so much, Chaos Lily, for letting me know. I appreciate it. Why are you so wholesome? I do my best. I have a really messed up degree at school, so I gotta keep it cozy elsewhere. This is my cat Zuko, named after Fire Lord Zuko from Avatar, <laughs> the last airbender, because I'm a huge nerd. I also have Appa hanging out down here. Some of my interests, you can tell that I'm a huge nerd because I'm really into like gaming stuff. I play mostly like puzzle games, cozy indie games, and basically anything Nintendo puts out because I'm a diehard fan. Um, I do co-working sometimes, but I've been on summer. It's not summer, Elena, stop saying that. I've been on Christmas break <laughs> for the past couple weeks, so no co-working currently. I'm also a huge anime and Studio Ghibli nerd, um, and I do a lot of like crocheting. So like this Luma back here I made, this top Stardew Valley chicken I made, I made these little cows and the Jolteon behind me. How far can I go to show you my background? Anyways, I'm a bit of a nerd and I like it that way. I hope that if you have anything that you are a huge nerd about, nerd about it here. I love talking about everybody's interests, not just my own. Thank you for all these daily pats and treats. This is Ollie. He's kind of like a little channel mascot. Let's make him happy. Sorry, he's been a bit of a grump lately. So he gets his daily pets and treats. Thank you so much for those. Kev, thank you again. If you gotta head out, that's A-OK. -okay. Let me catch up on chat a little bit. Yeah, Ali is hanging out here. Ali, our beloved. I've been seeing you in Ali's chat a ton and I've been meaning to follow and hang out. Thank you so much, Belle. I'm one of Ali's biggest fans. And I'm also on Ali's new stream team. I am one of the founding members of Pinecone. So you'll definitely see me in in and around the environment a lot. Thank you all for the daily pets and treats. You're so sweet. Let's um switch over to, that's not the right thing. That's the scene I'm already on. Let's switch over here to get back to our game. We're doing a rainbow slash like pride and diversity island in Animal Crossing. I'm looking for the villager that we just found. I can't find her. It's a completely blank island. So you think it'd be easy to find like a bright red ostrich, but. I don't know where she is. There she is. This is Rio. Look how rainbow and fun she is. <laughs> so I'm really excited. We just found her. And then we're going to hop into the DLC and do a little bit of um, decorating for the rest of stream. Technically, somewhere else in the world, people are on summer break. So you are right. Exactly. Every, it's, every break is summer break. I love drawing and ceramics and everything art. I'm a massive science and math nerd. Shraptor, that's so cool. I love ceramics. Where's my plate? I used to take ceramics in high school. I didn't make this plate. I only painted it. But on my birthday, which was in like mid-December, I went pottery painting and I made this little like soot sprite plate, which I'm super happy with. I've been using it to hold like my um my jewelry when I take it off to go shower or something because 
I have a bad habit of just leaving my expensive jewelry around the house in random places. So it's been holding my things. And I did ceramics, like actually handmade stuff in high school because we had kilns at our school. But then once I graduated, I can't really um, pay for (laughs) uh, my own studio space. So I just paint it now because it's a little bit more affordable. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. That's true. I love Rio. I know. Isn't she cute? I love her. I've never had her before. She was new in the 2.0 update, I think. And I'm so excited to have her. I think she's perfect for a rainbow island because she's got like all of the main colors. Leave you on my computer. I'm going to go eat my lunch. I'm very late in eating after these three botched landing attempts. Yes, Kevin, enjoy your lunch. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic year. I hope your stream went so, so good. I know her tail is everything to me. And like the purple eyeshadow and wing to top it all off to make sure she got that last color of the rainbow. Iconic. I love your colorful outfit today. Thank you, Mia. You guys are so nice to me. Stop being so nice to me. Asha, welcome in. It's good to see you. I know Ollie is reversible. I also have like a million of these octopus little flippy things. This is a huge one in my background and they're all reversible. Let's see. Let's see. I made a realistic flamingo sculpture. That is so cool. I would love to see it. Thanks for moving advice. I totally love it here on Prismatic. How great is it that we're neighbors now? It's so great, but we're gonna go do the DLC so that I can remodel your house because it's kinda not the vibes. But yeah, these are the vibes. We're making a very rainbow and colorful island. This is Gaston. He's our yellow villager. I will drop for you guys. Um, First of all, I'll drop the Discord link. If anyone's new here and you wanna hop in, Here you go. Here is the link. But what I was going to actually drop is the villager list. Prismatic shards are rainbow. Allie, you finally get it. Yeah, Prismatic is inspired by um, Prismatic shards in Stardew Valley. (laughs) Um, But here are the villagers we're trying to get. We're still missing Cherry as our red villager, Frobert to be green, Groucho for dark blue, and Mallory to be purple. But we recently added this yellow little fella to our roster. So I'm very excited. Yeah, prisms also, Gaston, babe, thank you. Excuse me. (laughs) Gaston makes me laugh. His house really needs to be renovated so badly. So I really want to power through some of this DLC stuff. But um, yeah, prisms, if you shine light through them, they make rainbows. So there's also that. Joe, it's good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for giving Ollie his daily treat. I appreciate it. Thank you for nobody being mean to me about the new channel points. I was so scared. I woke up at like 6 a.m., which everyone that knows me will know that that is very concerning. And I was like, am I literally losing sleep over a stupid stuffed octopus thing that I created? Like, what is wrong with me right now? (laughs) What is my issue? (laughs) Anyways, it's all good. Where am I going? Did I, where am I flying to? Did I just use a Nook Mile ticket? I think I just autopiloted to use a Nook Mile ticket. I can't lie. We're supposed to be going to um work, but I don't think I did that. <laughs> I used a Nook Mile ticket. Well, let's see if there's any recipes on the beaches. Sorry, I've been villager hunting for like four days and the autopilot really just took over. Thank you, Belle. That's so sweet. Thank you. That's so fun. I I really appreciate that. And Dixie, thank you for hydrate. Also, in other news, I was villager hunting on both of my islands at the same time. I have a pastel city core island on my other one. And I accidentally let it autofill. I don't know how it happened. These things just happen sometimes, gamers. (laughs) But it auto-filled with one of my favorite villagers, Murphy, and I didn't have a cranky for the island yet, and so I might just, like, leave him. I don't know. Does anyone in chat have an island named Cornelia? Because Murphy said he moved from Cornelia, and I'm like, I know that's somebody who I've played with. But I can't remember whose island was Cornelia. So I have one of y'all's Murphy. (laughs) I I don't know. Someone who came over and helped me weed the island. (laughs) Who is is Cornelia? (laughs) Ali, is that you too? (laughs) That's so funny. 
Elena, stop autopiloting. Go to the DLC. <laughs> Ali, I have your Murphy now on my other island. <laughs> I can't escape you ever, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I was actually so excited because Murphy is one of my favorite villagers, so... <laughs> I'll happily take it. And he's kind of pastel, so for like a pastel city core island, I'll take it, right? No, I don't want to fly. I don't want to fly. I don't want to fly. I want to go to work, Orville. I'm so sorry. I'm getting confused. I want to go to work. I want to do the DLC. <laughs> this year is off to a horrible start. Oh, you put the sculpture pick in Discord? Hold on. I want to go see it. I want to go look at it. It's going to be so pretty screaming that I have another one of Allie's. I don't even- oh! It's from when you, um... Is it from when you came and dropped off all of the pastel city core items for me? Was Cornelia your city core one? I was like, did we even play together on that Switch? <laughs> was that the- that island? Where is my Discord? Guys, I'm so lost right now. Send help. <gasps> my jaw is dropping my community is so talented wait guys i'm scuffed so i'm just gonna show you off my phone at the flamingo sculpture are you kidding me run to the discord to see it in like full detail but this is so cool holy moly yeah that neck would be such a pain to do shraptor as someone who's worked with clay, I get it. I can only imagine what kind of nightmare that would be. That's so cool. That is gorgeous. Yeah. If you want full resolution and not scuffed phone photo, go look in the Discord. But that's so cool. Jenny, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you. Thanks for the daily redeems. It does look amazing. I agree. I agree. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you for the streamer treat, Jade. I'm still trying to get through this big bag of Skittles, so we're still powering through these bad boys. <laughs> Jeremy, welcome in. Thank you for the Ollie pet. Guys, what if this was just the biggest brain play of me to rename the taxes for a bit and then change it back so that everyone had taxes paid? <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but that'd be really funny. Who's here today? Hudge, Stu, Roscoe. I think her name is Pango. Robin, question mark? I don't know. But I, I said this last time, I'll say it again. At the beginning of the DLC, I don't really prioritize which villager I like best. I prioritize which one has a theme that I like best. I'm in an airport so I can go home. Let's go. I hope you have a safe flight home. If you ever need help with those Skittles. I know I love Skittles so much, but if I eat too many, it makes my tummy hurt. <laughs> so I got to pace myself. <laughs> but I eat like three or four at a time and then it's OK. Oh, I know this already. OK, we're going straight to work. I don't really remember how many of these you have to do before you have to do the school. So we're just going to try to power through these kind of quickly. Who's got the best theme for us today? Ant and Fancy Place Surrounded by Riches, Smell of Trees. I want it all black and white. Okay, that one I'm leaning towards the most right now. Ultimate Beauty Salon is kind of eh. Classical things. Okay, I want to do black and white to start. Because I, we're making a rainbow island, and so we don't use a lot of, like, monochrome. So maybe it would be nice to, like, switch things up a little bit. Um, hi, Gingy. How are you? Happy New Year. Me with Starburst, I've eaten a whole bag in one sitting, and it made me so sick. Here's the thing, though, is that, like, I know <laughs> that when I eat too many Skittles, it makes my tummy hurt, and I do it anyways because they're so yummy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Jid, welcome in. Happy New Year's. Uh, wait, someone said something and I missed it. 
I watched this show on Netflix called Bee and Puppy Cat. I heard that that's kind of popular. Hi, Gecko. I've definitely heard of it before. Thank you for the confetti, Simply. I really appreciate it. I gotta speed through the DLC soon. Right, Belle? I feel like I don't want to spend forever on DLC houses. This is like my fourth or my fifth island since the DLC came out. And so it's like, I still want them to look cute, but I'm not like super worried about each individual house looking fantastic. If they're a little bit, if it's a theme that doesn't inspire me, we'll cut some corners and kind of just speed through it. If that's okay with everyone. Hi, Mimi. Thank you so much for the daily Ollie pets. Mimi, I have heartbreaking news for you. I went to do a sticker pull in my envelope and all of my stickers are missing. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But my stickers ran away while I was moving somewhere. So no sticker pulls right now because they are literally gone. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Um, but they are, they've disappeared. So I have to find wherever my pile of stickers is. Um, Gingy, I've decided to move away from the tax evasion and um, tax paying stuff. Now it's just Ollie pets and Ollie treats. Because I think it was it was causing a kind of divide in the community where like sometimes the taxpayers and evaders weren't always nice to each other. And I decided that it's my responsibility to stop that. So we changed it. It's the same counter, though. So if you've been redeeming one of them, your count is the same. It's just renamed. I put him in the desert because like, I don't know, I just feel like it suits him. But I'm, I'm not very inspired to build in the desert, so I don't really know why we're here. <laughs> Sometimes I know that you can put multiple houses on the same plot in the DLC, but I feel like I can't do that. Um, I know, Jinji, but I'm going to respectfully ask that we don't give too much pushback on it. It was a very difficult decision for me to make. And so I, I kind of just need everybody to understand that it's kind of an awkward position for me to be in and I'm doing my best for the community. Desert's so boring. It's just like, I, because I only like putting one house per lot, if it's not a house that I'm very inspired for, I'll put it in a lot that I don't want to like use later, if that makes sense. Since I don't really want to make like a black and white um, garden or anything, I put it in the desert. So we have to do minimal work. <laughs> Mars, thank you for the streamer pets. Thank you for um, the mod pets as well, everyone. You know, because like if I put it in the desert, then it's not going to look good no matter what. So we can just accept that and move on together. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this like diner tile almost. I don't use it very often. So we're going to try to make this work. Happy New Year, Dee Dee. Welcome in, welcome in think it's positive and we'd love putting positivity back in the world. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys understand the decision. I really appreciate it. I was very nervous about it, but I like I think in the long run, it's not going to change much because all the redeems are still like there. They're just renamed. That's the only thing that's changed. <laughs> Elena for president, right? I rule my own channel now. Yeah, no one wants to visit the desert, so he'll be fine. I feel like Roscoe seems like he'd be cool living in the desert, so that's where we're going to hang out. Maybe I give him the cool record rug. I don't want the place to be ugly. Maybe we try to make it cool vibes. I don't know. Again, I'm not going to put much effort into this one. <laughs> I'm not super inspired by it, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. He deserves the record rug. I agree. I think it's cool. And then obviously he needs some record boxes over here. Do I have the record player yet? Surely you would give me the record player if you're giving me the record rug. No record player. Okay. I, don't re I feel like the skull radio is a little much, you know? But maybe you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta make it totes emo, right? Maybe I gotta do it. You did- wait, I lost the message. You did what you felt was right, and I honestly love and respect the heck out of that. Thank you. I was really, like, struggling with that decision for months. 
<laughs> I, how have I never seen that rug? I love that. I think that it's a Sahara rug, I want to say, but I could be wrong. I could be incorrect. I think the iron wall lamps might look kind of cool in here. Having these like on this wall. Yeah, there's a vinyl rug. Apple, welcome in. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming by. I hope you're having a nice start to the new year. I like putting light switches by the door. Is it the most innovative thing in the world? No, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be. I think we might skip doing the exterior for this one. Because frankly, I don't really care that much. <laughs> we'll just make a cool interior. We don't have to make every single thing like the coolest thing ever. It doesn't matter that much. What other new items did I get for him? Maybe I put like some boots by the door. I don't usually do this, but it might be kind of fun that there's like maybe like a little boot rack over here where he keeps his drip. I wish you could put things closer together, like in um, The Sims, where you can alt place things, because I would ideally like to put them next to each other. But maybe this is his little like boots corners and maybe I put something on the wall, like if there's like a jacket. I can use, can you put clothes on the wall? I don't think you can actually. Can I? Oh, I can, I can hang his little like biker jacket over here. This is giving big time rush. Stop, now I won't be able to unsee it. No. I know it's not black, but like maybe he also has like this cardigan over here. It's still very like monochromatic. No purple overlay with the chat like before you moved. I, I changed like all my screens and overlays, so there are going to be a lot of different things. I decided like I don't really feel like I need chat on the screen because I'm still talking to you guys and we're still interacting. And so I felt like it maybe like covered too much of my screen. Because when you're when I had the game like shrunk down so that you could have everything like people who are watching on their phone, like the gameplay becomes very small for them. So I wanted to like kind of make the most of the space that I'm given. I made a sock themed house where I put all spare socks on the walls. <laughs> That's so funny. I kind of like this, actually. I don't think I've ever put. Clothing on the walls in this game. I'm, I'm not be real. First be real of the year and I'm sitting at my desk. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> You guys want to be in my first be real of the year? <laughs> it's accurate, if nothing else. You're so silly. I'm just noticing the scene change. I know it's super different now. Guys, you have a second. <laughs> be real. <laughs> wow. It looks like every other be real I've ever taken because it's always while I'm streaming. <laughs> Thank you guys for being in this moment with me. Hi, Boogie. Welcome in. Next stat is a command, is it? If it's on SiriBot, apparently. SiriBot does that. Um, like the maker of SiriBot made that. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Go away, stupid iPhone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My phone is freaking out. Um, but yeah, apparently we have ads run only once per hour. But that does mean that sometimes they tend to be kind of long. I put a bag on the wall. Oh, I don't want it there. I want it on the wall. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not talking to you serious. So real. <laughs> it always triggers. No, I don't want it to be on a mannequin thing. I want it to just like be on the wall, please. What about the umbrella. OK, you cannot put an umbrella on the wall. Disappointed, but not surprised. I wish I had more like hats. I feel like he would have like a cool hat on the wall, but I don't really think that I have that option right now. I could make maybe put no, I want it on the wall. Lay to get better at Animal Crossing challenge level impossible. Like this is OK. Like these ones, the way these hang. I think that's fine. Need to lay down. My head is hurting. Kev, go get some rest. Thank you so much for being here. Please put yourself first. That's kind of cute. It's not like the most inspired work in the world, but I'm I'm OK with this. We put it down because they're all like short kings in this game. No, I liked it better before. 
like realistically this is the height that they are but i think it looks better up here so we're gonna we're gonna lift it up i know tabitha's here too i'm so lucky to have you all hanging out with me love you guys okay one punch theme is gonna be in my head all day after i listen to this but it's fine what are we we gotta go through this elena we gotta speed it up you guys ever put the posters of the villager you're working on the house with in their home? I never do that. Do people have pictures of themselves up in their house? I never do that, right? I never do it either because I feel like it's weird. But like, do people have pictures of themselves? I don't. Oh, we can put the KK Rock up on the wall, though. I do not like the anime and that is like the only one I like. What do you mean? You do not like the anime, but you like it? I mean, what? Oh, I do not like anime, and that is the only one I like. Sorry, I thought you said the anime, and I was like, <sighs> discrepancy detected. I am, like, pretty neutral on the show itself, One Punch Man. I think it's, like, it is what it is. I've seen it. I probably wouldn't watch it again, <laughs> but I, uh, I like the opening. It's funny. I'm watching the new Hunger Games movie with the fam. Happy New Year and have a great stream. Tabitha, enjoy the movie. I just watched it for the first time last night. I also want to hear your thoughts afterwards. I owe Allie a discussion about it. I feel like I want to put the albums on the walls, but I hate how you can't change the frame color. It really bugs me. Hey, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Just put something else over here and call it a day, Elena. Nobody actually cares that much about this build, including you. <laughs> oh, we could give him a DJ turntable. That's kind of quirky. Which side would he be standing on? This side? Because the dials are like this way. Where is he DJing? In this corner, maybe? Have to be a little bit more skinny for that. Hey, this is his DJing corner. <laughs> Right, maybe we just throw a clock up. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrates. Oh, I was going to say this earlier. I was like looking back at what my um I guess I'm making this a musical room all of a sudden. I think he's probably not a clarinet kind of guy, but it is a black and white instrument, so that's what we're using. I was looking at my goals that I set for 2023 and on it, it said to double my daily water intake. And I just had to laugh because I think I actually drank less water last year than I did before that. And it was already bad. <laughs> I have pictures of myself on the house wall in my parents' house, right? I feel like that's different though. I, I don't actually think like, I'm not trying to attack anyone. If you have pictures of yourself up in your house, I don't think that's weird, but for whatever reason in Animal Crossing, it seems like strange to me. I'm going to put a dartboard in this quarter because he's so cool. I haven't driven a big vehicle. I've only driven like three cars in my life. So and they were all normal cars. So I guess a car would be the biggest vehicle I've driven and regularly. <laughs> I do get it. I do get it. Do we have the keyboard? No, oh, I don't think so. It's fine. Whatever. Does he need a kitchen? I'm not really getting like cooking vibes from him, but this is also black and white. So got to put what we got to put. Got a knockoff Stanley Cup for Christmas and honestly, my water intake has increased. I get that, though. Like my water intake definitely increases if I have a cup that I like. I'm drinking out of this Hello Kitty and Friends sippy cup that my friend got me for my birthday. Um, and I drink more water out of it than I do when it's just like a normal glass. I don't know where to put this light now, because I think if I put this in the corner, it's gonna make it so that I can't. Well, can I put this over the window? Maybe I can. I usually try not to block the windows, but there's technically a space there allowing the window through. And then I can put this. I'm going to use his picture in here. Why not? It's a new year, new me, guys. And the new me is just using things that I don't really like at Animal Crossing, but I'm going to commit to anyways. Let's put a towel rack. There's a sink right here. He would need a towel for that. Why not, right? Who's going to stop me? <laughs> I know my 
stomach area is cramping and now it's on fire. Shraptor, I'm so sorry. I hope it feels better soon. I've had chronic tummy aches all month just from like the amount of like junk food and stuff that I eat in December compared to every other month because there's like all of the holiday baking and lots of like not necessarily the healthiest foods floating around in December. So I kind of need to get my diet back on track going into this month so that because I have a pretty sensitive tummy. If I eat like greasy or like unhealthy foods too much, like it'll really affect me very quickly. I'm gonna lurk for a little, but I'm still here. Thank you, Jid. I appreciate it. I just want to say you're all very brave for going through your tummy troubles. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> Depending on what you ate, that would do it. I put everything else at like such a short wall height that I feel like the clock has to be short too. Okay, you know what? This is the house. This is what we're going with. N look, Dee Dee, I'm going to be real with you. I am so not a car girl. I drove my dad's car and my mom's car and my driving instructor's car, and I don't really care for any of them. They are all just cars to me. <laughs> I don't really notice a difference. If it gets me from point A to point B, I'm good with it. Yeah, simply you're very brave for surviving your tummy problems. I would love to be someone who knows things about vehicles, but it just ain't for me. Okay, this is this is his cool room. We're going to take that as our picture and then we're going to dip. We're not going to do outside because <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> hey, Elmo, hold on a sec. No, Nico's going to make me do more work. I have a container of ice cream. That would do it if you're lactose intolerant. No wonder your tummy hurts. I used to work at an auto zone for two years and I loved it. Oh, that's cool. Simply. I didn't know that. I worked at a thrift store and I worked at an art store. And now I have to get a real kid job in May. Sad. I think he just told me that I can do shining stuff now. Fun fact, last year was 2023. That's so true. Yummy. Good job. How do you shine things? There we go. There's not really anything that I want to polish in here, TBH. That's okay. Walrus time, welcome in. It's good to see you. Right, I'm not really looking forward to getting a big kid job, personally. Nothing in here should be sparkly, but I can't really, like, change that yet. So I guess we'll say that the sink is sparkling clean. What can you do? Happy New Year, Walrus. It's good to see you. I like my dollar store management job. I'm glad that you like your job, Belle. I like I was doing obviously like part time retail work. So those were never going to be like my forever job because I was trying to balance them while I was in university. And it's just really hard to balance all of that. So I left them so that I could. Uh, well, I left my first job because the pandemic closed the store. A lot of people lost their jobs in the pandemic and that, you know, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and then I also worked at um after that i worked at the art supplies store but then they weren't really accommodating when i was like hey you're booking to me too much and when i'm supposed to be in class so i had to leave it because they weren't willing to let me do school and work at the same time basically which kind of sucked don't die i'm lurking thank you for the lurk scab i want a desk job where i do design work oh that would be so cool i really don't know what kind of job i'm shooting for yet Right now, the criteria is anything that will take me and give me money when I graduate. <laughs> I'm going to be graduating at 21 this year, and so I feel like I'm still pretty young. And if I don't end up in my forever job right away, like that's a OK. Um, so I'm just I'm going to see what I can find when I graduate and then learn what I like about jobs, what I don't like and kind of go from there. Oh, you were considered essential. Oh, that would have been pretty brutal, though. It's good that you were still able to work and, like, get some money, but essential service workers had it pretty tough. Oh, I guess I'm going to pick vines. Sorry, Lottie, I wasn't really paying attention. I If I do get a master's, it's not going to be right away, Meg. I have been doing schoolwork 
since I was three, I started kindergarten at three. Fast forward many years, and now I'm here still in school. And I think I'm ready to take a break from the academic setting and try out the real world for a little bit. I might in a couple of years decide I want to go back, but right now I definitely, I want to kind of move into the work world. Oh, we're going to do the school soon. Okay, cool. I just got to keep doing houses. Go for a PhD. I don't really need a PhD. I don't think I want a PhD. I'd maybe do a master's, but probably never a PhD. I worked at a craft store in 2020 that closed due to the pandemic. Oh my gosh, I worked in a craft store too. I loved working in the craft store, but when they didn't accommodate me for my school hours, I was like, mm, this isn't gonna work for me. I do still need to graduate. I have a year left for my master's. I'm currently interning. Take your time, I'm burning out, but I didn't wanna wait. And I feel like my goal was never to do a master's and PhD. Like some people go into university or college knowing they wanna do like the full thing. My goal was always to get my undergrad and then go into the work world. So I recently had a kind of significant academic success where I got like an 100% on a final paper and presentation in class. And my professor sent me a message kind of telling me that I should really publish the paper and that the research and like work I did could be kind of influential and it would be really beneficial for the field if I kind of pursued it a little more or at least submitted it so that other people could continue to pursue it. And that got me thinking like, oh, maybe like I do have some stuff to contribute to academia and to further research, but I don't know if I want to spend my life doing that research. So I don't know about that. Done after my master's, studying counseling with a PhD, I'd be able to do research and whatnot, but that never interested me. Exactly. I don't really think I want to do the research my whole life either. Tybalt is here. Let's do trees. We just did an indoor one. Maybe we do an outdoor one now. I'm okay with trees. That's amazing. Proud of you. Thank you, Charlie. It kind of just like was one of those things where everything fell into place. Like I, I picked a topic for the semester that I was really interested in. Um, and because I was interested in it, like I was just able to do really well in it. Um, but yeah, I'm not not too worried about it right now. Have fun with your show, Shrafter. It was nice hanging out with you. Enjoy, enjoy. This is my knowing someone famous bucket list stick. Um, I'm watching my eighth consecutive year. I'm starting. Sorry. I'm watching. I'm starting. I can't read. I'm mixing chat messages. Starting my eighth consecutive year of college, essentially, since I went straight from undergrad to PhD. Right, Walrus? And I respect you so much for being able to do that. But I need a break. I'm going into my last semester, hopefully ever. I don't really want to do a master's, to be totally honest. I understand the benefits of it, but I don't think it's for me. Um, I think this is going to be my last semester ever, because after that, I'm really hoping to get a job and kind of settle into a career path, which I still have to figure out what that's going to be. But I am proud of myself that I've done something that people think would contribute um, to academia. Thank you so much for the follow, friend. I didn't hear my alert go off. Not sure what's up with that, but thank you. If you want to let us know your preferred name and pronouns, please feel free. My name's Elena and I use she, her pronouns. Um, sorry about the alert. Don't know what's going on there. We're gonna make a little like log cabin for stew and then put some trees outside. If you don't need it, don't stress. I had to go for my master's to apply for licensure. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do, cause I'm also like in the psychology domain. I don't really think that I wanna go like the counseling route. So I don't really need a master's for the stuff that I'm thinking of doing. I think it'd be cool to have one, but is that worth like it being cool, is that really worth like the time and money it would take to do it? Maybe not. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. Let's see, what other items did we get? Did we get the log bed? Oh, we did. OK. I think I haven't given many of them bedrooms yet, so maybe we do that. You can get. I kind of like putting this as like a little footboard sometimes as if it's like kind of extending the bed a little bit. I think it's kind of fun. Did we get the fireplace? Oh, we did. Let's go. I love having the fireplace option. 
I think what I want to do is have this kind of over here, and then this is wood for the fireplace. And then I want to see if I can put like the laptop at the end of the bed on like that little headboard. So it's like he's like watching. Oh, you can. Because then it's like he's watching movies in bed near the fireplace. I think that could be kind of cute. It's still considered Ollie's Empire. Are we calling it something different now? Honestly, we never really had anything that we strictly called the community. I don't really have a name <laughs> for it. I guess I, uh, I guess I should change that. I don't know. That was like in the message, but we didn't really ever call it that. So I don't know. I never thought too much about it. I'm glad you like it though. Like, I think it's kind of cute. The idea that he's just like chilling in bed watching. I need to figure out more like cabin-esque interiors here. The monster cave. <laughs> I don't know about that. Not quite sure about that one. The brown floral flooring might be kind of cute, but none of this is really... Like, why is it the wood so orange-toned in this game? Like, that's so so orange and i'm so not an orange person i just want it to be like nice log colored walls but this is Stu. he's a lazy i think he might have different names in other languages or regions but in the english version or at least the north american version his name is Stu. s-t-u Make it orange and give him potatoes. <laughs> Here, let's let's put him on the bed. Guys, I am such a potato hater. I'm so sorry. It's just the truth. We can give him a little wall clock. Maybe above the fire. Well, no, because he has this this owl thing as a clock, right? Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't have to use that, but it's okay is what it is. What else did he give me? Oh, this one's kind of fun too. Should we do the wood burning stove? No, not as cute as the fireplace. Yeah, you can click and drag them and you can move them to wherever you want them to be. <laughs> you can also change their outfits. So like if I wanted him to be in something else, I can change him into something a little bit more cozy. Maybe we put him in the red sweater because that matches like the vibes in here a little bit more. Put him to sleep. He fell asleep watching his show. I wish that there was like one that looked like more like videos. This one looks like he's watching dog videos. So we'll put it on there. He's watching uh, YouTube. Pet sitter during the pandemic. I got hit hard. Oh, Boogie, I'm so sorry. What show is he watching? Honestly, based on his computer, it looks like he's just watching cat videos. <laughs> we love that for you, Stu. You're slaying the game. What else would go in here? Maybe I'd give him a workbench. I don't know if he's crafty, but he's crafty now. This can go over here, and then maybe we give him... I know I used this on the last build, but if it has a good swatch, I might use this as like a little light for him to be able to see in here. Put that there. Boring. Wow, yummy. I see how it is. No, that's fine. Call my builds boring. Whatever. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I'm gonna try to layer things a little bit. I kind of like the look of that kind of in front of the fire. And I wish I could put this like a little bit closer, but whatever. We'll put this over here. So he's got some plant vibes in here as well. Hi, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for giving Ollie his daily treat. That's super sweet of you. How is everybody's New Year's Eve? I know not everybody celebrates it, which is totally fine. Um, Alexia, thank you so much for Ollie's pet as well. Like I said, I had a very quiet night last night. And I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. I, if I couldn't be with my partner because he was traveling, I was glad that I just kind of had the night at home to chill out. It was nice. It was comfy. It was cozy. I did spend most of the day yesterday um, 
with my dad, actually, I'm sure a lot of you know this because I don't stop talking about it, but my dad and I recently moved to a new town together. So we went on a little adventure in the day. We took a little drive around town to figure out like where different stores were and kind of what was around. And that was really fun. My New Year's was chaotic. The dogs are going insane from fireworks. Oh my gosh. My dog used to hate fireworks as many pets do. Um, but it would scare her so much. She would sometimes like get so startled by them going off that she would pee a little like it was bad. So being a pet owner with fireworks going off is definitely not the easiest thing. My adventure was a lot of fun, though. I really like the new place. It's a very small town um, compared to where I used to live. And it's got like cute, cozy, small town vibes. Um, so I don't know. It was fun. We went grocery shopping together, which I know not a lot of people like grocery shopping, but I like grocery shopping. I don't like how expensive groceries are, but it's kind of nice to just go and like meal plan for the week and get stuff. I don't know. It's like comforting for me, especially when I go like with my parents. Like it's just kind of like a comforting activity, I guess. Comforting is the word that I'm looking for. I was gaming and sipping with some friends and family during the night and during the day we worked on my mom's birthday dinner. Oh my gosh, that sounds like such a nice time. I hope you guys had such a fun day and night together. I sat at my family's restaurant while they were cleaning up and they said Happy New Year and cracked open a soda. My last words of 2023 were Poogie Woogie, which if you guys have ever heard of or played the game Little Wood, is what the little goblin creatures say in Little Wood. I saw the clock and I was just like Poogie Woogie and then it changed over. There it is. <laughs> Shopping general super nice, literally my only workout. <laughs> Right, it's it's fun. It's nice. I like it. Atomic, welcome in. It's nice to see you. Happy New Year. Maybe I put him over here. Maybe this guy goes over yonder. Thank you for the Ollie pets. I appreciate it. Let's put a wreath over here on the wall. Get a little bit more greenery in, and I want to see what other potted plants I have. I never know how to say this one. It's like shiflera. Sh sh Plant lovers out there, send help. And my camera is covering it. Shiflera. Sh <laughs> what is this plant? Ah, <laughs> Sky, congratulations on the uh, on the Korok. Nice work. And congratulations on First Fairy. I didn't make the announcement about it. Yeah, I'll do it next week just because like with the pinecone announcement and the Ollie tax announcement, that was already a lot for you guys in the Discord today. Um, but Sky and Kess won first fairy. They tied for it last month, each of them having redeemed first um, three times. You almost had it, yummy. You're going to crush it this month. You got it, though. OK, oopsies. Let me go back over here where I belong. Last words of 2023 were telling someone in Overwatch that I was going to res them. <laughs> See, the gaming never stops. The grind never truly stops for us. It must go on. I was playing The Sims. I think I'll put a little wall rack over here in this corner, just behind this lamp to fill up some of that awkward space that I've left. I know I'm the one who put the space there, but still. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate and enjoy your lunch. Hi, Blue. Happy New Year's. I think it's pronounced Sheflera. Might be wrong, though. That sounds closer than whatever I was saying. <laughs> so I think you're probably closer to right than I was. Little acorn rug. Sure, let's put a little acorn rug here. And call that a day. Every year I play Overwatch on New Year's Eve, so it's tradition. Oh, cute. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. My name's Elena and I use she, her pronouns. If you'd like to let us know your preferred name and pronouns, please feel free, but no pressure. Um, hi, Kayla. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I am excited about the future of our channel together in the new year. What was I going to say, though? Usually I'm with my partner on New Year's Eve. Um, but they were traveling this year with family, so it was just like a very quiet night in Discord VC for me yesterday. There we go. 
let's get those pictures. Oh, and I need to bring Stu over here now. Hi, Elmo. How are you today? Happy New Year's. I <laughs> hope it's a good one. Still sleepy. <laughs> I always put hope it's a new one. <laughs> I've decided not to celebrate New Year's. For me, it is still 2023. <laughs> I'm doing okay, though. Um, thank you for the follow as well. And my dad is building a shelf in the basement. If you can hear the hammer sounds, I am so sorry. It won't be for long. <laughs> Just the banging in the background. I'm so sorry if my mic is picking that up. But thank you for the follow. It's nice to meet everyone. This is a lurker friendly space. So if you don't want to chat, that is A-OK. -okay. But if you do want to chat, feel free to let me know what you'd like me to address you as. It's OK to ask, how long have you and your partner known each other? We met in middle school. Now I'm graduating university and we've been together for seven years in March. We started dating in my first year of high school. So it's, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> it's been a while. It's many new years that we spent together and we weren't able to this year. So it threw me off a little bit. Just popping in. How's the move of your house? Hi, Anne. There's the hammer noises. Apologies, everybody. <laughs> so embarrassing. You can tell that we're in a new house because you can hear the construction sounds of my dad building furniture. <laughs> but um, the new house is really, really nice. I'm really happy here. I like the new setup. I'm digging the yellow. <laughs> and happy new year. How's it going with you? Um, Stu, I love you, but we're not going to be hanging out. We have things to do. Houses to build. Boy, that's funny. <laughs> Usually my mic doesn't pick up anything in like my house, but hammer is a pretty significant noise. So that one we're not really going to be able to escape. I'm glad that you're doing good. Yeah, today's going to hopefully be a pretty chill day for me. After stream, I am going to um, probably go for a walk with my dad. Are you done? Thank you. How long does it take to hammer a shelf? I'm going to hopefully go on a walk with my dad. I still have some like Christmas stuff to to put away, like decorations and stuff. So I might start slowly um, cleaning those up after dinner. I'm going to go camp out at my mom's house because my mom lives close to my partner. And my partner gets back from the airport at like midnight tonight. Um, and we're going to hang out for a little bit. So. Oh, I forgot to say that I still want to work. Awkward. It's too bad because my froggy sweater fit is so cute, but what can you do? <laughs> Animal Crossing GameCube still gives you new stuff in 2024. Does it actually? That's so cute. Oh, I have to go find Nico at the pier. That's why she's not letting me work again. I have played all of the Animal Crossing games, but I played some of them more than others. I played City Folk a lot. My first one was Animal Crossing. Um, Animal Crossing Wild World on the regular DS. And then I started playing City Folk and I really liked City Folk. I got new Leaf on release day. I got new Horizons on release day. And then eventually I went back and played the GameCube one. Oh yeah, Nico wants to learn DIY stuff. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You play Wild World currently? That's so cute. Uh, I am... Um, I haven't played Wild World in a hot minute, and I love the old Animal Crossing games, but I don't usually recommend them for people who started on New Horizons. I think people who played the old games first can still enjoy the old games, but anyone who started on New Horizons and want to play other Animal Crossing games probably won't like them as much because there's like just way less customization options. There's like no terraforming. There's no even putting furniture outside. Like it's just very different. Yeah, I, I would love to go back, but if I went back to an older Animal Crossing game, I would probably start playing City Folk again. I love City Folk. I have so much nostalgia for it. It makes me so happy. I did chat with Nico. What's up, Lottie? Wardell, remember when we ordered that workbench? Guys, I can just make you a workbench. It's no biggie. We don't have to go ordering things. I don't really need to DIY things. I just work, please, guys. I just want to make some houses. Pretty, please. 
I wish I'd started on the GameCube and just played them in order, Bell. But we, um, my brother and I got copies of gate of the um the Wild World game at the same time, and so he had his town and I had my town. And we would play together when we both had our own DSs as kids, and it was cute. It made me happy. A ranch style home, a fancy house. Beauty salon, classical things, or sports. Guys, I don't really want to do any of these. None of these are sparking joy. I guess we'll do a ranch style home. We just have to go through them kind of quickly to, to speed things along. I was four and I still have that town. I do not still have any of my original towns. I remember, so I have a second cousin and I'm actually closer with some of my second cousins than my first cousins, just based on like where we all live in the country and stuff. Um, my second cousin is three days younger than me. Haha, <laughs> I won. Um, <laughs> and when we were super young, he was very, very hyper, excitable, out of control, like wild child, basically. And at one point, the parents were like, here, we'll just give them like one of our kids DSs to sit down and like chill out for a second because everyone's tired of watching this crazy kid. And my cousin got into my Animal Crossing town and like tore it to pieces, cut all my trees, sold all my furniture. Like and like now if this happened to me, I'd be like, whatever, it's a game. I'd still be like annoyed, but I wouldn't be like as distraught as I was when I was probably like six years old. And I was just so distraught by it that I every time I opened the town, I would get so upset. So I reset the town and started fresh because the just the rampage he went through <laughs> on my town <laughs> upset me so much when I was a little kid. <laughs> uh, takes me back. Now it doesn't bother me as much like I play a ton of Animal Crossing I could just like rebuild but as a kid it was very dramatic for me it was very tragic he also broke like a ton of my brother's toys so none of us were free he's lovely we get along great I love my second cousin but as a kid he was very much out of control um so he broke a ton of my brother's toys he ruined like some of my games like my files and my games like it was it was a rough couple of years. <laughs> Hi, mom. Welcome in. Thank you for the Ollie pets. I sent you a text. I don't know if you saw it. I changed the taxes to be the pets just because I want to switch things up a little bit. But I love you lots. I miss you. I want to hang out soon. I think you're going to visit your love today, but I would love to find some time together soon. I love you lots, mama. Okay, let's make her a little ranch style house. Happy New Year, Mom! You have today off work, I believe, right? You get to just hang out and have a nice day. Maybe we try to use the yellow wood. I almost never use this yellow tone, but we'll, we'll try it today. Oh, you're at his place now! Say hello for me. Pet the dogs if they're there. But I hope you have a nice day off work. Oh, is this not the ranch wardrobe? What is this? Oh, gone is what it is. I got rid of it. I need that for this build. <laughs> Why does she want to use the antique wardrobe, not the ranch wardrobe? Caroline, you're killing me. What are you doing over here? Actually, maybe I could like, it's a big piece of furniture. Maybe I could kind of use it as like a little um divider wall almost. And have this be like its own little room. He says, hello. <laughs> hello. I need to start cleaning up my Christmas tree stuff soon. We got our, um, my dad and I had quite the adventure yesterday trying to change a light fixture in our dining room. It's up and it's working now. We had to deviate from the instructions for how we were supposed to mount it and wire it and stuff because like it was kind of flawed the way they wanted us to do it wouldn't work because like the parts got in the way of each other so we had to rig something else but 
I had fun with dad. We did get the light thing up yesterday <laughs> after uh, some experimentation. Okay, let's give her a little ranch kitchen. So maybe this is her bedroom over here. And then she's got a little kitchen space on this side. Do I have a fridge yet? I would love if I had a fridge, but I think I'm still out of luck for that. Yeah, no fridge for me. Tragic. Oh, we don't need two kitchens. Hi, Pikachu. Welcome in. Happy New Year's. Good to see you. How can I not have a fridge yet? Please, Animal Crossing, just let me have nice things. Okay, she can't have a full kitchen, but she can have a sink. And she can have some veggies in a basket. That's all she's got for, for food out here. I'm traveling to 2024. I brought some New Year's wishes from Italy where the pizza slices are bigger and the Coliseum moonlights at a disco ball. I upgrade my reality to a director's cut. <laughs> Pikachu, it's good to see you. I hope that you're having fun in the new year. It is 2024 now. Big, exciting things happening. It's going to be a big year for me. Lots to do. I get to graduate into the realm of being a big kid with a big kid job, hopefully, if somebody hires me. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm going to put this kind of in the corner. It's going to be a little funky, but I just like trying different things because then I can use the chair that I have to use and maybe have it like over here. So this is our little kitchen area. I put a tablecloth on it. Maybe I should. Let's do green. Oh, I haven't even changed the wallpaper or anything yet. Maybe that's why this looks kind of funky. Oh, maybe that's cute. I might just leave the default flooring unless I find something else I'm like in love. Never mind. I like that. That's good. <laughs> unless I find something else. I never mind. I've changed my mind. Little entrance mat. Oh, that's small. I mean, we can use a small entrance mat if she wants. That's fine. There is some blue in that pot, so maybe we do some little blue accents here. I think that's kind of fun. I would have liked to have a bigger rug in here as well, but our options are kind of limited for big rugs right now, unless I do this Argyle print one, which I'm not sure really feels ranchy to me. I can always like double up on these, but these are such like a dull avocado color. I wish that they were a little bit brighter. Turn up job fun, embracing adult and chaos. I know. We'll see how she goes. I'm not actually as stressed about it right now as I think I will be as it becomes more imminent, because right now I'm just focused on graduating. <laughs> I have to get the degree before I can use it to apply to places, but. We'll see how it goes. Is there like a more ranchy add photo birds? I don't really like any of these. I mean, the flowers, I guess, are kind of going to work, but not really what I was imagining for this wall. I have not been using ceiling decor. That's my bad. Sorry, everyone. None of these feel very ranchy to me either. I guess the milk glass lamp we can put up. That doesn't seem very, I don't know. We'll just go with it. It's fine. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I'm overthinking it again. Um, do we have any cute ranch furniture? I think rocking chairs, if we had a good swatch for it, maybe. I don't know if we have a good swatch for it. That's going to have to do. Our meetings is like a large lecture seminar. Like your work meetings. Yeah, I'm going to have to see what the work world has in store for me. I don't actually know. I think I'm going to put this actually at the edge of her little bedroom here. I don't have dividing walls and stuff yet, so I kind of have to break things up in a little bit of a more creative way, which is kind of fun to experiment with sometimes. I think ranch homes should probably have some plants in them. So let me put a chair and a plant over here. We'll put it in a terracotta little planter for now. Oh, I kind of like the plant being in the corner. I feel like it's so basic in Animal Crossing and in The Sims to put the chair in the corner, but it's kind of cozy that way. I really wish that we had like some sort of basket like in The Sims that has like yarn and stuff in it. 
I would love to have like a little crafty corner for them, but I don't think that there's any items like that really. My mother nearly threw out my memory card for my GameCube. No, I'm I'm hoping you saved it and that that didn't happen. Yeah, that would not have been good. That would have been so scary. I think I'm actually going to boot up my Wii and start playing Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility again. I always come back to it. I can't help it. It's so fun for me. Yeah, hence nearly. I'm glad you seem to be able to have saved it. See, like these wood frames for the albums never match anything. And I just, I want to put them on the wall. I really do, but they don't match. Hmm. Who is this house for? Caroline, I think. Hi, Brad. Happy New Year. How's it going? Welcome in. It's good to see you. I was working Christmas Eve, so I didn't get a chance to do all my toy days and talk to Kiki on all my games. No! Do you time travel in your games? Because that way you're still able to do the holidays, but I know it's not quite the same as if you got to do them live. Brad, thank you for petting Ollie. I appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. I hope you're all having like a, hopefully you guys have days off today. I know my parents are off of work. I don't have to go to school. I'm hoping everyone's just kind of taking like a quiet day to do whatever they want. If you have to work today, I'm sorry. I don't time travel usually, so this will be my first time doing so. Oh, okay. I didn't time travel when I used the old, or when I played the old games either, actually. I didn't even know about it as a kid. I had no idea you could do that. Rose, thank you for lurking. I hope you guys know, anyone who's lurking out there, how much I appreciate you. I hope you're enjoying really cozy days. I would also really like to like start crocheting again. I haven't crocheted anything since before Christmas. So I, I don't know, maybe I start a new crochet project this week as well. That would be kind of like a cozy fun thing for me. I want to duplicate this and maybe put this one over this window. The floral swag item is super cute. Let's put this down. Last of our days off, wife and I had 11 straight off. Brad, how has it been? I hope you had such a lovely, refreshing time together. Thank you for the streamer pets, Pikachu. I appreciate it. I might also stop being mad at Pokemon and do some Pokemon later today. I haven't played Pokemon Scarlet in a while because the game crashed on me a while back last time I played and I lost a bunch of progress and it made me a little butthurt about it, but I might get over it and go back and kind of start redoing the stuff that I lost. Was going to work today, but I said no, let's go, Belle. Snapchat to do trigger warnings, so I opened my snap for Team Snap and it was Jojo Siwa. I don't use Snapchat. I don't even know if I have it on my phone still, but I, I was never really into Snapchat much. Not an app that I know a whole lot about or ever used frequently. So she's got a little rocking chair in this corner. Maybe she should have a bookshelf. Hmm. I don't really love the bookshelf swatches for in here, though. Maybe this one's okay. With the right lighting, it'll all look the same. I think we can get away with that. It's a slightly darker wood and the rocking chair is a bit of a lighter wood. But I think with this lighting, we're maybe OK. I think I'm going to turn the lighting off and just let it be the natural lighting of the pendants. And try to get get going with that. I don't know. It's been great. Lots of friends, naps and video games, as it should be, Brad. It was nice for me also getting like a chance to play games again, because I didn't play a lot of games for a long time um, leading up to this month and then through the move and stuff. So it's really nice to be able to just game again. I missed it. Oh, maybe we should give her a bread basket too. some organic bread. That seems delicious. I feel like I need somewhere else to put it, though. Is there another little like table or something that I can put that's not going to look stupid? Maybe this little stool? Ghosty, welcome in. Thank you for giving Ollie his pets. We appreciate it. It's good to see you. I hope you had a happy new year. Not into it, but I go to clear notifs every once in a while. I just have notifications turned off for anything that I don't really like. So I don't have notifications for um, 
Instagram, Snapchat. Like, I don't think I have TikTok notifications on. Sorry, ghosty. I am. Um, I posted an announcement in the Discord if you want to read about it. I don't want to get super into it right now, but I've rebranded the taxes for a couple of reasons. So it's it's pets and um, treats now. I'm sorry. I've decided that it, it was causing me a lot of stress. Um, because some people would take the tax evading and the taxpayers disputes a little too far. And I didn't want anyone to actually get upset because of like something that I made. So I decided to make it a little bit more neutral and friendly. They're both the right one. Now you can do both of them. Like there's no right or wrong answer. I just wanted everybody to be on the same team, basically. Why the Pokemon Rage? Why did little critters do wrong? Like I said, they, um, the game crashed and I lost about two and a half hours of progress in the game. Um, and that was really frustrating for me. <laughs> and I like, no one wants to like redo that, <laughs> so. Um, hey, lean in. Welcome in. Welcome in. I kindly ask that you guys like respect my decision to change the redeems because it's been very, very anxiety inducing for me recently. Um, and it wasn't easy for me to make the change. Please trust that I had my reasons. I understand that I keep all my social media notifications off except DMs, right? Like. It's just overwhelming and it's not good for me to always be on my phone and stuff. So I, I do my best to not open the apps frequently. I'm sorry to the people that send me like Instagram reels and like TikTok reels and stuff. It's not that I'm ignoring you. I just legitimately don't have notifications on for those apps. And I only open them like once a week, maybe. So I, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't see them. It's not that I'm trying to ignore you. I just legitimately am not on social media much anymore. I'm on Discord and I'm on Twitch chronically, but every other app, I'm not on very frequently anymore. Daily treats used to be evasion. I was confused to why I had two. Yeah, so pets used to be taxes and treats used to be evasion. I know it's a little confusing. Like ideally we would just get rid of evasion and like, have it all be one but that's not fair to the people who were like using the daily evasion to do the counter and i can't really merge them because like logistically it wouldn't make sense like it would like double how many people had like some taxes because some people like evaded and paid in the same time so we just have two things you can choose to pay only one of them you can choose to pay both you can do whatever you want um i left them both so that people using the evasion counter didn't lose their counts but it's literally up to you how you want to do that. Thank you for the treat for Ollie. I think it's funny that like a lot of us are going to have like 100 to 200 pets and now are starting at ground zero for treats. <laughs> Poor Ollie. But yeah, now now there's like this is the counter for like the next season for the new year. <laughs> but thank you guys for understanding it and respecting it. I've, I've been turmoiling over it for a while. Thank you for the pets for Ollie. This is the counter for how long since the change? Yeah, pretty much. That's actually true if you redeem it each stream. Walu, welcome in. It's so good to see you. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for the Ollie pets and the Ollie. Um... Oh, bye, Kels. Welcome in. Thank you for the Ollie pets as well. I'm on Twitter more because I, I use it to communicate with some people and update some people who aren't in the Discord. I wouldn't say that I'm always on Twitter, though. <laughs> I am very, like, I'll go on it once or twice a day for, like, five minutes, but I don't think that that's too much. You know, I'm, I'm pretty reasonable about my social media hours. That's one thing that I did improve a lot on. Um, over the past year. Happy New Year, Walu! Thank you for the genius. I don't know if all my stuff is still working because like I'm in the process of changing everything. Sorry. Are we back? You guys hear me? Hello? 
Hello. Maybe I should do the refresh command. Hello. Which is a bit stinky. Okay, you can hear me. Guys, that literally just like killed every happy cell in my body. <laughs> I was thriving and then I got the disconnect notification and I just like screamed. I was like, no, <laughs> my year is legitimately ruined <laughs> from that. <laughs> but I have been seeing that like um, a lot of people's streams are struggling. Like some people couldn't access the Twitch app earlier. I'm sorry. I don't know what's the scoop with that, but we're back. <laughs> um, go see. Did you just redeem a custom Discord role? Do you not have a custom Discord role already? I'll start off the year with a bang. Yeah, the bang is the sound of me smashing my head against my computer. <laughs> um, you do. Go see. You don't have to pay to change it. If you want to change it or like recolor it or something, you can do that for free at any point. Or do you want a second custom role? <laughs> if you want a second role, you can pay for it. But if you just want to change it, like, you don't have to pay for that. <laughs> Thank you, Kes. Welcome back to your PC. Welcome back. We're making a little ranch house for Caroline. I'd like to keep my current one, but pay for a second time if it means I can get a second one. <laughs> you can have a second one. Just um, send me a message what you want it to be. That's fine. Do you want to keep the color that you currently have? Mind and it's gonna be ghosty. Go to ghosty is what I just wrote. Ghosty roll. Sorry for my replies on Twitter. Currently, I actually tend to overdo it. No, that's okay. I just um I don't see it immediately because, like I said, I don't go on social media very often anymore. Sorry about the crashes, everyone. Um, I think Beanie Dog popped in. Usually, when it disconnects, I lose a couple messages. So if you sent something. While I was disconnected, it might not have come through. So feel free to send it again. Beanie Dog, Happy New Year. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic start to your new year. Sorry, Twitch. Yeah, we can open up some Boom Bears. Lurkers, Lurkers, hello, cuties. We're going to open up Boom Bears if you want to do some fights really quick. No pressure, but if you want to play... It'll be in three minutes because we're actually about to run an ad. So we're not going to start one of these until the ad is over. Um, I'm going to let the ad run. We're just going to sit here and chat for a second. Otherwise, you must yell. I'll yell again in three minutes because I don't want people to not be able to play because of the ad. So we're going to let that go. And then we will do some boom bears. Shatter my eardrums. I will not. I don't want to got the movies and wanted to celebrate with boom bears let's go i'm so excited i love some boom bears jenny thank you for redeeming it it's always fun we do have some people unfortunately in an ad right now so i am letting them um yeah see walu's in the ad i just want to make sure everyone's back before we we start up the rounds boom bears yeah hi bj what do cows say at midnight on december 1st happy moo year Happy New Year, BJ. Welcome in. Um, did I learn something new about you that I didn't know before? What did I learn about you that I didn't know before? Did I miss something? I might have missed a message um, if it was in the disconnect. Sorry, Pikachu. Bye, Kels. No, Kels is in the ad, too. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let me put the ad command in case people are... Um, are wondering. Nobody's missing any boom bears on my watch. Not today. I don't know why it disconnected. I hope that that was on Twitch's end and not mine because like all of my stats are actually like in tip top shape. The NSNE. Oh, Pikachu, if you mean like your Twitter name, I've always known that that was you. I've no I, I've known your name. <laughs> I do know that that is you. I opened my curtain and my room got colder. No! Close it back up. We don't need sunshine that badly. <laughs> don't need it. I would never like say your name without you saying it first, but I, I do recognize that that is you on Twitter. Don't worry. I am. Um, my new stream room actually tends to get warm. So I, I'll be streaming in t-shirts much more 
often because like the ventilation is good when I keep my door open. But when I close my door for a three hour stream, just like the warmth from like the PC up here um, and like the, the vent that has heating coming in here, it does get a little bit warm. So it's every time I end stream, the first thing I do is open my my door to my office and let some air through because it, it does get a little toasty sometimes. It can be a little intense. How did you know it was me? Is it the way I talk? I mean, it's mostly the way you talk. <laughs> like I, I can just tell. <laughs> it's very similar. And like you would just reference things that we talked about together. So it's easy to put the pieces together. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I didn't sleep last night. I was losing sleep over the Ollie thing. My anxiety is feeling a little bit better though. Welcome back from the ad, Walu. Sorry about that. Thank you so much for waiting through it. We also have been waiting. It, Siri bought any second should be saying that the ad is over. There it is. Thank you, Siri, for being right on cue. Okay, let's get Boom Bears going. Alrighty, now if you type exclamation join in chat, if you spell it right, not like I just did, if you type join in chat, you should see a little bear pop up with your username. Lurkers, we're playing Boom Bears. <laughs> is that good enough for you, Ghosty? Do I need to yell louder? <laughs> Lurkers, it is totally valid to um, continue to lurk. That is so fine. But if you do want to hop in, we're gonna be doing some boom bears for a couple minutes if you need a little break from whatever it is you're doing. We have 13 players so far. Let's see, we have myself, we got Yama, Kells, Walu, um, Kess, Yummy, Pikachu, Sky, Jenny, Whimsy, Ghosty, and Mimi. We got Brad, we got Murphy. Oh, we've got Murphy if Murphy corrects the typo. <laughs> Murphy, there's a little problem with your entry. Why am I over there in the corner? Literally, that's so strategic. Staying away, it's like Hunger Games logic. You don't want to be part of the bloodbath. You want to be in your own little space. Ghosty, Kells, and I are hopefully having a little alliance over in our corner. That was so hard for no reason. No, Murphy, I'm right there with you. I messed mine up, too. <laughs> I spelled it wrong, too. Oh, Kells was a little delayed on the start, but that's okay. That's okay. No, Elena, don't hurt them. That's your alliance. Don't throw that bomb, girl. Don't do it. Okay, I immediately betrayed my alliance. I threw a bomb at Ghosty and at Kells. <laughs> Toxic of me, truly. I need to, um... Oh, I'm tabbed out. I need to make it bigger so I can see better. There we go. I'm in the middle. No, Pikachu is taken out as well. GG's, you tried your best. Don't worry, you'll have a couple other chances. Jenny eliminates Mimi. Murphy taken out by Yama. We have Autumn. Autumn, sorry. We have Sky at full health still. We have Jenny at full health still. Everyone else is pretty low. Whimsy is taken out by Yama. Sky takes out Yama. Sky is taken out. Just kidding. <gasps> Yummy fell off. No, Yummy, come back. We've got myself, Kells, we got Ghosty, we have Walu, and we have Jenny. <gasps> I killed Kells, I'm so sorry. I betrayed my alliance. No. <laughs> Autumn is taken out, you mean. I know, sorry. I just died for it. Died for misnaming you. Jenny and Ghosty, who is it going to be? Who is our victor? <gasps> Jenny, congratulations on your first Boom Bears win. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. You crushed it, I know. <laughs> Ghosty, you did your very best. You fought until the very end. <laughs> I will not forget this. Here, well, you have a second chance. Let's do it again. Let's run it back. Exclamation join. I'm gonna type it correctly this time. Get myself in there. I'll move the camera so I'm not blocking the, the join screen. I know, Jenny, you crushed that. You did so good. <laughs> Exclamation join. J-O-I-N in chat to hop into Boom Bears. Lurkers, lurkers, we're playing Boom Bears. Caroline is just like staring at me in Animal Crossing like, um, so are you gonna like decorate my house or? <laughs> Tempe, welcome to the fight, cutie. It's good to see you. We've already been live for two hours. Guys, this stream is going by so fast. What do you mean we've been live for two hours? 
Morgan, welcome to the fight. Good luck, good luck, everybody. You guys are gonna crush this. New year, new me. That's the energy you need to go into the year with Jenny. Exactly. New year and you get a Boom Bears win. I love that for you. Am I ignoring important messages? Oops. Sorry. Simply, are you in here right now? You have a baby, so it's like totally fine if you're not. Like, go parent your child. But if you're in here right now, <laughs> I would like to address the message you sent me. <laughs> I prefer New Year's same me, I know. I don't want to change. I want to stay the same stubborn person I already was. All right, you guys are crushing this right now. Look at how many cute bears are running around fighting. I love boom bears. <gasps> Murphy is taken out. Yama is gone by Kells. Gab kills Gabs. Pikachu taken out by Brad. Sky killed by Grand. Grand is here. Hi, Grand. Welcome in. <laughs> Sorry, Grand. I didn't see you come in. Grand, happy New Year's. Jade is gone. I also didn't know Jade was back here. Hi, Jade. Nemo, welcome in. It's good to see you. Happy New Year. <laughs> no, I killed myself. No. Kess is gone. Tempe is down as well. Mimi. Oh my gosh, no. Mimi is down. Jenny is taken out. Brad killed by Ghosty. Thank you for the lurk, Tempe. I love you so much. Morgan and Yummy slain. Kells blasting off. Ghosty, you may have came, come second last time, but you are first today. <laughs> Grant, thank you for giving Ollie a treat. I appreciate it. Nice job, Ghosty. Grant, thank you for the lurk. One more, like a phoenix. <laughs> I took myself out, Jenny, too. It's okay. Last round, and then we'll get back into our Animal Crossing. We got to dethrone. Dethrone Ghosty. I live here on the floor now. No! Take yourselves back up, gamers. We got this. We got this. We're gonna crush this this time. Exclamation join. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna, while this is counting down, answer a message because I accidentally opened it. And if I don't answer it, I'll forget that I opened it and I'll leave a dear friend on red. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're good. I'm back. I'm present. I'm attentive. I'm sorry. I'm texting in class. <laughs> you know how like when you, at least if you have an iPhone, I don't know how Android works, but if you like, where is it? If you like text, like open, tap a notification, like your phone automatically opens to that. I accidentally opened my phone onto a notification I didn't want to open yet. Because if I open them, like I said, I will forget that I opened them and then I won't answer them. <laughs> Walu, thank you for the hydrate. I've almost got through my water for the day. Well, for the stream. I'm supposed to drink like four of these a day and that never happens. I call it a good day if I drink two of those bad boys. <laughs> yummy, first to go, taken out by yummy, delicious scrumped themselves. <laughs> you did good, champ. What do the numbers next to our names mean? You have numbers next to your name? Do you? Which numbers? <gasps> I'm dead. I killed myself again. Stop. Elena, please. Brad is gone. Grand is down. Walu taken out by Mimi. Gabs kills Murphy. My goodness. Oh, I can't even tell who that was. Oh, it was Pikachu and Mimi went down together. Yama accidentally takes themselves out as well. We've got Morgan and Sky down, which leaves Gabs and Kess uh, on the side. Oh, it might be how many kills you've gotten. I've never actually looked, to be honest. I think it might be how many kills you've gotten that game. Kess, congratulations on your win as well. You crushed it as per usual. Gabs, you'll get them next time. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me for this Boom Bears adventure. I am gonna put us back into some Animal Crossing. Don't go to sleep, Animal Crossing. I'm not done with you. Um, so you may resume your lurks if, um, if you would like to.
think it's your level. It could also be your level. You do get like experience points, but I don't think it changes anything what level you are. I really, I don't actually know. Next time I'll like, cause I only saw it for a split second before the round ended. Next time I'll take a better look. I'll know to look for it. I actually don't know. We'll learn something new together. I actually think that this house has turned out pretty cute. I might just leave it at this. I feel like maybe we need like a little entry rug at the beginning, but other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Forgot that we have no good anything, so I don't really have anything to be an entry rug. So I guess we're just going to put this little circle and that's going to be right. Level would probably be my guess as well. Oh, I have to get rid of this. Oh. No timer. Never mind. Turn off tax timer. Sorry. I'm still working. We had taxes in a lot of places on this channel, so I have to find them all again. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie. Um, I wanted to put Caroline maybe over in the kitchen. Be kind of cute. She's too small to use her house. I feel bad. It's fine. Oh, girl, I did not want you to look at me. I did not ask for that. Well, now, sure, just stare into my soul. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, literally like a little treasure hunt. I got to go look at everything in my channel and see what I have to get rid of. There's another way you could recognize me besides the way I speak. I mean, there was a lot <laughs> that uh, that gave it away. But you've you've talked a lot about like yourself, what you do, like in your bio. You've told me what your job is and it's in your your Twitter bio. Like there was there was a lot <laughs> that told me it was you. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Welcome in. It's so good to see you. My name's Elena Monster. You can call me Elena. You she her pronouns. I'm a variety streamer. I stream about four times a week. I love Nintendo and cozy games. Welcome in. How are you, Justin? How is the new year going for you? I'm in love with my new vacation home. I'm so glad. I need to go. Later. Half, thank you for the daily Ollie pet. I appreciate it. I know it was a fast talk. I tried to do the hi, I'm news pretty quickly. And thank you for the treat for Ollie. I appreciate it lots, Cav. Psychic Blue Wolf, welcome in. Thank you so much for the pets. The squirrel's kind of annoying. Oh, Caroline? Yeah, agreed. I was like, what squirrel? I thought you wouldn't recognize me if the hard part paid off. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. I'm big brain. I can put the pieces together. I'm not, I'm not concerned. I can figure it out. Justin, thank you for the daily Ollie pets. Oh, I got promoted. Yippee. Look at us go. Oh, we might be able to change our uniforms. <laughs> thank you, Cav. Yeah, I did decide to rebrand it a little bit because there was some drama in the community sometimes when taxpayers and tax evaders wouldn't get along. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to just make everyone chill out on that a little bit. But it's nice that everyone can kind of be unified now. I don't think I've ever used this shirt. Maybe because it's ugly is probably why that is the case. I usually use this dress as mine, but like, is that too basic? What other headgear do I have now as well? This is kind of cute. I kind of like the flower crowns. <laughs> no more class divides, right? I think it was time. It was like the perfect time to start something new and different in the community. So we're, we're going to run with it for a while and see how it goes. Happy New Year's though, Cav. I thank you for supporting it. Lena's like a professional puzzle solver, remembering the time she posted when she finally solved the square hole puzzle after three months. Yummy, I have no idea what you're saying right now. <laughs> thank you for the streamer pets, Grand. I appreciate it. And thank you for the follow. Welcome in. My name's Elena. I use she, her pronouns. If you'd like to introduce yourself, please feel free, but absolutely no pressure. We're trying to grind out some DLC houses. Just kidding. I think we're actually about to make the school. Um, <laughs> we're trying to grind out the DLC so I can customize my houses on my island because I reset my save file. So we're mostly only doing the interiors right now. I haven't really been decorating the yards, but 
I think we are moving on to our first facility. It seems like we're getting to do our school. Which I try to make the school very different each time I do it. This will be, I think, my fourth or my fifth time making this school. So I'm kind of running out of ideas for how to make this place different. What color do I want this school to be? I don't know if I've done a green one yet. I wish all of these colors didn't clash so much, because if you want to use like a colorful roof, you're kind of like having to use the neutral siding. I'm Cassandra. I use she, her as well. Cassandra, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for introducing yourself. Happy New Year. I hope you had a safe and fun New Year's last night or whatever time zone it was for you. It might have been longer ago now, but I had a very cozy night playing The Sims 4 <laughs> at home. I'm not much of a party animal. I would much rather just like play my cute little cozy games. So I was in a voice call on Discord just playing some some Sims. Maybe we do white wall. No, I always use the white wall. I feel like I have to like branch out. Maybe we do a green and yellow school. I don't think I've done that color combo yet. Why couldn't they make the two yellows match? Please. Please. I feel like I don't usually change the color of the bell because that just like doesn't make sense to me. I think I'm going to leave the bell gold. I could like understand silver, but in my head, this kind of bell is always gold. Maybe I have to make them both green. I think that looks better. Are we okay with green roof and walling and then yellow bell and door because if I use the yellow roof it's like a different color yellow and I feel like it doesn't look okay I think we do green and green let's we can always change it afterwards it's fine I think it looks pretty bad next to the orange and red building but we're gonna commit to it anyways because I'm stubborn and once I make a decision we're just gonna stick with it we're gonna we're gonna roll with it <laughs> The last time I did this school, I made it like a kindergarten classroom and I made it very like pink pastel kindergarten room. I might try to do something similar with the kindergarten room, but make it different colors. I don't know. Or maybe we make a basic school. We'll have to see. I try to give them like little gimmicks so it's more interesting than just a school. But at a certain point... There's only so much I can do. Can I not make this bigger? Oh, I can. Okay. Um. How big do I want this to be? Maybe kind of small. Because we're only making one classroom. So I kind of think that maybe we do it like this. Not a mystery, just a bit shy. I don't mind telling or revealing it, but I'm thinking I should give my name the spotlight more often. It's like my name and I are having a rekindling moment. Yeah, if you want to start going by your actual name, go for it. Do what makes you the most happy and comfortable and gives you like the strongest sense of like personal identity. Oh, that would be really yellow. I want to make a green school, but like if this was your school walls, isn't that kind of depressing? I do. Gym flooring. I don't know why they give you like the gym flooring as if you could make this a gym when you're like required to have a teacher's desk. Don't lead me on like that. Don't get me excited. Maybe I try to make this a gym anyways. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I can. What am I required to use for this facility? Four chairs, desks, and a teacher's desk. Like there's no way that I can make that work as a gym. It just simply is not possible. Who would have that many desks in the gym? Yeah, well, if you want to hop into the Discord, please feel free. Say give the kids a window. It looks like a prison now. I mean, I don't really have full control of that. It depends on what wallpaper you use. Some of them you can have windows. Some of them you can't. I like the big windows here. Maybe we give them a fancy school. I've never gone like the rich private school look before. Can you tell that I went to public school? 
maybe we try to go for like really fancy because i usually lean on like more bright obnoxious colors laid back stuff stone tile white brick flooring guys what would a rich school's flooring be i don't know i did go to public school it's the reason I stopped cosplay. I felt like I lost myself. Now I know the real me is fading. No! Yeah, if you want to, like, start going by your name, that's totally fine. Kirby! Hi, baby! Got groceries for meal for the first week in my new place. Hopefully you're setting it well to your new place, too. Kirby, congratulations on your move. Thank you so much for the five-month resub. I adore you. My new move went great. I'm so happy here. I'm so excited to be here. I hope yours is going great as well, right? I kind of want a marble floor white. I think you're right, but like, do I have a marble? Is that close enough to marble? It's called stone tile, but does that seem marbly to you guys? And maybe they have like the big arched windows. The windows and the flooring don't really match. But what else? What else would it be? I don't really know. Thank you for the daily pets as well. Because like this matches a little bit more, but I feel like maybe that's less fancy. If we're going fancy, I want to, like, really commit to it. Outdoor classroom vibe? No, I hate that. Don't be silly, Elena. <gasps> Maybe this is the library. I've never... I've always done it as a classroom. Maybe this is the library. Because then you would still have desks and stuff. I think we're making... Rich kids school library is the vibe that we're going for right now. And then it could maybe have one of these like fancy ornate ones. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it here. Let's go over here for my nails. They're very like kind of random which nails are green and which ones are yellow. And I just kind of like them that way. I like the chaos a little bit. I just kind of pick random nails to paint and see how it turns out. And I think that they turned out super cute this time. I'm happy with them. Um, let me go back over here, though. We used to play dodgeball, but then with the obstacles to hide behind, so you could use desks for that. Wait, that would be kind of fun, too. But I don't think we'd really be able to get that, like, image across in, um... In Animal Crossing, unfortunately. I want, like, a really big fancy rug, but these ones are kind of ugly. But then again, I think most fancy things are ugly, so maybe that's appropriate. <laughs> Let's make the librarian's desk, because usually, like, a school library has, um, it'll, like, have, like, the librarian station. I wanted to cosplay as other characters as well, such as Naruto and characters in Genshin and other anime, but Fate decided that I should stop. Right? And it doesn't necessarily mean that you can, like, never go back to it. It just might mean that you need to take a break from it for a bit, and that's okay, too. I think I need to get my glasses retightened, because they're, like, not sitting on my head the way they used to. And now they're like starting to push with my headphones. Sorry. Gotta get them like, cause they're, they're kind of like falling down. And so it's like pulling forward more on my ears. They used to like sit nicer, but I haven't gotten my glasses retightened in like over two years. So that's why I think my headphones have been bugging me lately. Sorry. My brain goes spin and I thought it was one yellow and one purple. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, they are green and yellow, but they're kind of random, and I kind of like it that way. Okay, what did they give me? I want there to be, like, big, nice tables to work at, not, like, individual desks. Does this count as a desk? We're going to see if I can cheat the system. Okay, that counts as a desk. Good to know. Yeah, they're yellow and green. Let's go to our table options and see what we're working with here. No, these are not my real nails. Gosh, I wish. I, um, I do my own nails, so I, I glue on acrylics. I, I cut them down. I shape them, and then I put on like the gel polish and cure those. So it takes me a very long time <laughs> to do my nails, but they last me for about two weeks usually, so I don't necessarily mind. This isn't the right color of brown. It upsets me. Like this is kind of like the dark, deep wood that I'm looking for. If I put these back to back, will they connect? Or will there be like an awkward space between them? 
the answer to that is yes. <laughs> okay, interesting. But does that count for the desks? It does. Okay, teacher's desk. I have to use one of these. You're joking. These are both so ugly. No, I don't want to use those. You can't make me. I refuse, but they can make me. Is the issue. Why? This is so bad. I don't want to do any of that. Um. Hey, okay, we're going to have to figure out that problem later. Not a right now problem. Later problem. Right now, let's make the kids study area. I like to think that these are, um, tables that they can sit and work at, you know? Thank you for thinking I'm a genius. Picture this. Girl themed classroom, regal wallpaper, golden furniture, maybe in a throne for the teacher. The students can have personalized lockers and crystal clear aquariums as study buddies. It's Animal Crossing opulence. <laughs> I really struggle with decorating in like fancy royal styles and stuff. So I'm like, you can use this velvet stool. I really, this is not my forte, but I really want to try to make this work. I put these like this, then it's like four people can sit and study at the table. I don't really care if they're actually functional or not. That's not what's important right now. <laughs> um, I guess we're going to have to use the podium as the teacher's desk, but the color is wrong. Whatever. Maybe they're getting a presentation in the library on this particular day. We got presentations in our school library when I was in high school sometimes. Um, so we'll, we'll go with that for now. I might wanna make this room bigger though, if we're making it a library so I can put some more bookshelves and stuff in. Maybe we pull it back this way. And then on these walls, we can have some more bookshelves as well. What are my recommended items for a school? Ooh, a trophy case. Prestigious school. We have lots of awards. Our students are winners only here. Thank you very much. I can fit that over here. Well, I can. <laughs> this kid is very cramped, though. I need to make this room even bigger. I don't know. I don't want it to be too big and overwhelming. Sky, congratulations on the Korok. You can take inspiration from anime. From anime, you can take inspiration from anything. I don't think I really need like an anime inspiration for this build, per se. But you can get inspired by whatever you want. Oh, it doesn't make sense to have a music stand in here. At a prestigious school, you'd find well-maintained campuses with manicured lawns, classrooms, classic architecture. Yeah, I don't want it to be like um, modern, like interactive boards or anything. I want it to be very like classically fancy, if that makes sense. So I probably won't put a lot of like fancy rich technology in here. We're going to put some books, obviously. <laughs> That seems kind of like a given. We're going to do dark green because there would be no fun and color in a rich school. <laughs> We're going to where did that go? Oh, over here. This person over here can be working. And then the book set makes sense. The stack of books. I would love to. We'll do the old books. Why not? Doing old research projects. Maybe this is like, I don't really like the color. I also don't like the rug, but I don't think I'm ever going to like the rug. I don't think there's any rug that I am going to enjoy for in here because none of them are really big enough. But what can you do, right? Walu, thank you. Yeah, we should stretch. My ad manager is gone. Oh, Twitch is down again. RIP this stream. Last time. My ad manager disappeared while I was live. It was because half of Twitch was down. So if you guys can still hear me, congratulations. Your Twitch hasn't crashed yet, but it's, it's not looking good for us gamers. 
Twitch is struggling today, apparently. Very stressful. Mentioned early in 22, my name shared characteristics of your name. Yeah, I know. I know. I remember. Trust me, I got it. I've known your name for a very long time. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, yeah, be good, Twitch. I have lost control over my ad manager because that part of Twitch is down right now. So I'm sorry if the ads become a little bit um, unpredictable because I no longer have the ability to do anything about them, unfortunately. I would like this to be a bit of a fancier table if I was going to use this, but I want to put some chess boards in here because I feel like that's a very like fancy thing to have. Maybe there's a chess board here. I've just pulled you up. Uh, it's good that you were able to just pull me up. If there are any streams that you are watching right now, whether it's mine or other streams, I would recommend not closing the tab or the window right now if you plan to come back to it. Because with Twitch, oh, my ad manager is back. Maybe it just hiccuped. But if Twitch is struggling, sometimes as long as you keep the page open, it's fine. But if you close it and try to come back to it, then it won't let you. That's happened to me before where like, I was watching a stream while Twitch crashed and I was fine, but then like I closed it and tried to come back and then I couldn't access it again. So if you are planning on watching any of these streams at any point, I would recommend trying to leave them open if your device can handle it because it might be a little bit um, unreliable right now while Twitch goes through some hiccups. None of these chairs are like fancy enough to be in my fancy library. I need better than this. I have three up right now. Yeah, if you want to continue enjoying those streams, my recommendation would be to try to leave them open for as long as you can. Or for at least as long as they're live, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the streamer pet, Simply. I really don't want to have to use this podium, guys. Maybe this is the chess table. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, but like, can I get away with that? I have to use a teacher's desk and like I only have two options this being one of them maybe that looks okay I don't like the chairs but again my chair options are limited other days you got back to streaming I had an announcement for news you'd like do you that sounds exciting um Maybe these? I don't know. None of these are going to be fancy. Guys, I don't have fancy in my blood. I'm not able to make a fancy build. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. It's nice to meet you. My name's Elena and I use she, her pronouns. If you'd like to introduce yourself, please feel free. But there's absolutely no pressure to if you don't want to. Please do whatever makes you the most comfortable. I don't like it, but like I might do it anyways. For anyone who's just coming in, I'm working on the school build, like the school facility in Happy Home Paradise, but I'm trying to like stretch it a little bit to be like, this is the school's library, not a regular classroom. This build wasn't really designed to be like that. So like I have to have a teacher's desk, like that kind of thing. The podium is like basically my only realistic option for this build. So I'm trying to like hide it in the corner, make it into a chess table. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're, we're trying to figure it out. We really are. I don't like the rug, but if I want to have a fancy library, like they need something. Maybe we layer these. Ar Is it Argyle or Argyle? Guys, don't come at me. Just help me. How do you say the word? Maybe this is like, I know that it has the line in the middle, but maybe that looks better than the other ones did. I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, was there a cat picture? I wasn't even looking. No, I missed my cats. This is so sad. I don't know what to do with these books. There's got to be books in here. It's the library. Oh, I do. It was Zuko and Moogle off both my babies. Really? I missed them. It's OK. I'll see them tonight. I'm going to my mom's tonight. It's all good. And then maybe like the triangles on these chairs don't look as bad. My problem is that like I need to get some more neutral custom designs because like none of these patterns. Maybe these ones work. So ugly. Like you can use 
don't put that to red, Elena. You can use custom designs, but we're making a rainbow island right now. So all of my custom designs are like very rainbow bright and obnoxious. So we can't really use them in HHP because they aren't going to match anything unless the library wants kiwi chairs, which I do not. Does this one look OK? I hate it, but maybe I hate it a little less than the others. So let's try this. Yeah, I know that's what the word is. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Argyle, Argyle. I, I know the word. I just don't know the correct pronunciation. Currently, they are traveling again. We're going to celebrate New Year's. <gasps> Enjoy yummy. You've been traveling a lot lately, so if I were you, I would probably just want to be like chilling at home right now, but I hope that it's like a fun experience for you. Yeah, I <laughs> thank you. I am familiar with what the pattern is and what the word is. It's just the pronunciation that I don't know. I'm not putting a porta potty in here. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe a chalkboard in the corner. Would there be a chalkboard in the library? I don't know. It's a rolling one, so like it could move to like not be blocking the wall, which I kind of like. I would have liked there to be like an actual librarian's desk, but we might make it like one of these. Because at my school, you had to like check out books or Chromebooks or whatever you were doing from the librarian. So maybe we can still put in a librarian desk. Do I have the computers? I think I do, right? Like this is the librarian where you check out the books. All the swatches are going to be ugly, but it is what it is. Programming, art program. She wouldn't be doing any of that. OK, maybe just search engine. Librarian needed a little Google. Argyle, like more pronounced like a G or something. I'm going to have to look it up. Google. How do you pronounce this word? Let's let's take a little listen. Pronunciation. Argyle. Argyle. OK, you're right. Google says Argyle. <laughs> so that seems wrong to me. I don't know. It just doesn't. I don't like it that way. Don't don't enjoy it. Yeah, don't don't love that. I prefer Argyle, but I mean, who am I to to disagree with the official Google pronunciation lady? I clearly am not the strongest in this, so I guess I'll just have to deal with it and take her word for it. I don't really want her to. Oh, did these ones come in the dark color? Maybe this would be a better idea. No, it's the wrong color, though. OK, well, we'll try it before I become a hater for my own ideas. Let's see how it looks. Because these ones like pair together to make a full table better. Which might make more sense. Struggle between being Katniss Everdeen, but also being Batman at the same time. I don't know if that's going to be a super relatable struggle yummy, to be honest. I don't think I've experienced that problem before. But you're, you're so brave for powering through it. I'm so proud of you for that. I think these tables look better. And then the librarian gets a desk, which like makes more sense. OK, that's fine. Oh, the Legends Arceus music is so pretty. I really have to finish that game. I think just like a standard desk chair is probably fine. Oh, the green one might be fun. It doesn't match the green of our Argyle carpet, though. Improving with English. Um, I was learning in English was the last days of the week and months, especially Wednesday. Yes, yes. It can be tough learning new languages. So take your time with it. I'm still learning English and it's my first language. Guys, all of my rug options are kind of doo-doo. I cannot lie. It's OK, it's a lot of saving the world all the time, right? But we appreciate you for your service. <gasps> Problem solved. I found the rug we need. 
This is much more what we wanted. Spell crocodile, C-R-O-C-O-D-I-L-E. Crocodile. <laughs> There's no cheating that happened there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, okay. I don't think I want to actually put like too, too much in here. Is there like an award we could put on the wall yet? This is a formal paper. Is that close enough? Like somebody's, like the school's certificates are up. I think could be kind of fun. That rug is actually beautiful. I know. I can't believe I didn't try this one yet. I didn't even see it. But this is kind of the vibes I was more looking for. So I'm happy with that. Um, honestly, like headphones, I always had headphones in the library, but it kind of like ruins the vibes in here. So I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. An open book, probably the most logical. We'll put that there. What kind of book are they reading? Western literature, Japanese literature, encyclopedia, or textbook? This is a school, so we'll set it to textbook. I think that makes sense. I don't want to put something on like every single part of the tables. I like leaving some blank space. But this actually might be good. I might be happy with this. We've got the trophies and the awards. You have the little chess corner to work on your logic skill in The Sims. You've got areas for them to study. And then all of the books are like on this back wall, which maybe isn't convenient, but you guys get the idea. This is one of my more preferred rooms. Did I meet all the requirements? I didn't even check. Do I have everything? Yeah, I do. Okay. Body, I'm done. All finished. The exterior doesn't match this place at all, but it never will because the, um, the outside looks a little bright no matter what. Who's going to be our librarian? None of these people really give librarian vibes, do they? I don't know. Not very fluent in English yet. I do mistake my accent as people to fund me. I do mistakes. My accent is funny to people and I misspell a lot, but I don't care. I'm still striving towards improvement. And that's the important part. That's what matters. None of the villagers that I've done really give me librarian vibes. I guess maybe Eloise. Do I make Bob a librarian? That's ca Oh, he looks so cute. Maybe we do Bob as the librarian. <laughs> He's cute. And I kind of like him in like the fancy vest. I think we're going to put him in this one. Look at this little fella. <laughs> okay. Uh, what other languages do you speak? Yeah, feel free to let us know. I speak English and French. When I play Sims, I make Sims as dumb as possible and set them loose and just like in the real world. I just have like barely been playing any gameplay for the Sims recently. It's all been build stuff and I really should get back into gameplay, but I'm so much more interested in building cool things. More like the principal office than the library. Hmm. I disagree, but that's okay. It's my build. I'm okay with it. This is definitely a cozy library, right? I think so too. The principal's office wouldn't have like places for the students to study and stuff. Before we do this, we need to give our school a name. Um, not right now. I don't really care about that. This is a speed run lottie. There's no time. Slash school slash learning adventure. I agree. I think it, it's the library that I want it to be. Oh, no, he's going to stand at the podium because he thinks that's his desk. No, you know what? He's just studying chess. It's fine. He is a OK. <laughs> he's a little confused, but it's fine. It's good. I have everything under control. Bob, please go to your actual desk. Well, everyone's I got our teacher in here. It seems like we needed some students too. Everyone's learning. Yippee. Okay, okay. He's just teaching Roscoe how to play chess. It's funny that Bob is the one who looks like he's probably the youngest in here. Everyone else, look at how much they're reading. They're reading so well. Look, they're all reading. They get it. They understand that this is a library. I move Bob. Bob, I love you, but like, you're supposed to be over here, homeboy. There we go. There you go.
I feel like, why are you segregated from everybody? Go join the study group as well. I thought there weren't any people at the desks. No, look, they're all hanging out. They're besties. Okay, I don't want to be here, and I don't want Lottie to be here. Okay, it's picture time, guys. I need everybody to be looking sharp. Read your little books. Perfect. I got Eloise mid-page flip. We got that action shot. Fantastic. Okay, let's take the photo outside. Um, obviously, we're going to feature the inside photo because that makes way more sense. <laughs> and now we're here to take a celebratory photo of the school. Yippee! Okay, thank you very much. The iron's a little more beautiful today thanks to the school. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Um... Uh, I'm so happy right now. Look at Bob. Okay, he's actually like the most librarian vibes ever when I look at him. Stop. Click. Perfect. We have a beautiful photo together <laughs> with everyone deadpan looking at the camera. So cute. I would love to fake study there. I know. The way that I never actually got any work done in the libraries because I was always just like hanging out with friends. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'll do good even in my worst subjects. Guys, this is not, you know what? I probably should have just named it library. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I want to learn Arabic and German, but they're difficult. It's especially hard when you're an adult to learn new languages because like the way you process and are able to control your like linguistic capabilities, um, you actually lose a lot of those after you grow up. It's much easier to learn a bunch of languages when you're little than once you've like trained yourself to not need certain like phonetic sounds. Love hanging out at the library. The books are just there for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> I just want to look like Lo-Fi Girl, but play The Sims, you know? Yeah, I did see the ones that you, that you, um, that you speak. Sometimes like with long messages, I don't read the whole thing out loud, but it's very impressive. Um, what time is it? It's 2.51. I think that I probably won't have time for another house, so we might raid out like 10 minutes early, but that's fine. No biggie. By the time that I decide who to raid and like finish talking, it'll be around the three hour mark. Um, and I also went way over time on our last stream this weekend, so it balances out. Let's head back to our island and see if there's any like little touches that we have to do. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Sweet baby girl, welcome in. It's nice to meet you. My name's Elena. I use she, her pronouns. If you'd like to let us know your preferred name and pronouns, please feel free. Uh, but absolutely no pressure. That is A-OK -okay if you don't want to as well. I know. I can't believe it's almost been three hours already. I feel like this stream went by so quickly. I think we, maybe we make a snowboy. She, her, thank you so much. Um sweet baby girl for letting me know. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead, make a little note of that. Let's go see if we can make a snowman. Let's get sassed by the snowman. I'll head out earlier today. Have a good day. Thank you, Blood. I appreciate it. So anyone who hasn't seen our island yet, it's a very new island, but we're working on making a, um, a rainbow island. So we're going to use lots of very bright colors like you can see here. Let's go find our snowballs, though. They're going to be somewhere out in this void. I flattened the island, so he could be literally anywhere. <laughs> Here's one of them. Where's the other? Hi, Rio. Oh, she's such a queen. Where did the other snowball spawn? I don't know. I don't know where it is. There's one by the rock. Stitches is up here in no man's land doing what Stitches does. I should probably pick these weeds, too. But truly, where is the other snowball? They're usually pretty close together, aren't they? They wouldn't be this far apart. That's insane. Unless one of the beetles, like, moved it around. But I thought that they usually were together. Right, I want to make a snowboy, but I can't find the other snowball. Guys, where is the snowball? Huh? I don't understand. I understand Japanese from watching anime. I don't need to Google, but if I'm honest, kanji is difficult. I'm getting the hang of it. It's good you're getting the hang of it. I just watch with subtitles. I don't understand Japanese at all. Okay, well, we're just going to do loops of the island. We're going to have to find the snowball eventually. It might take us a while to get them next to each other, but it's going to be around here somewhere. 
Oh, I didn't even know that I had bushes over here. Okay, good to know. Where is it? Right, they can't be that far apart. And I'm not like insane, right? Y'all aren't seeing another snowball? <laughs> Where is it? I just, yeah, they usually spawn near each other, but I like cannot find it. Hello? Rio, what did you do with my snowball? This one we already know about. This is the one near the rock. So that one, we know. Like, it shouldn't be this far away from it. I don't see it. Hi, Gail. Guys, I think I only have one snowball. Maybe we don't have snowman privileges. This is so sad. Rhea, what did you do with it? Hmm. Sorry, Pikachu, this is an English only chat just because we can't moderate. Um, so I'd ask you, it's cool that you speak other languages, but you do have to speak English here. Found it. Okay. They are not really close together, but it's fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I want to learn Japanese, especially listening and reading so that I can watch anime and read manga and such without needing the translation. I, in a perfect world, would love to do that, but realistically, I am not going to take the time to do that. Okay, where is the other one now? Now I'm disoriented. I find one and then I lose the other. Okay, it's up here. See, it spawned pretty far down apart. They were not close to each other at all. That's true. I could have reset it, but that's fine. We'll get this one here and it'll be like the biggest height. Then it'll be okay. I do not know what you're referring to, Pikachu, no. Okay, big snow boy. Now we have to make this one a little bit smaller than that snowball, I think. I know that there are guides to get a perfect snowman every time. We're just going to try to eyeball it and see what happens. <laughs> I kind of like how they look better when they're not perfect snow boys. I think they look way cuter with like a smaller head and a big body. But for the sake of the game, I don't want to get this too far. Let's see. I don't know. Let's try that. Boink. And nice to meet you. Finally, we can talk face to face. I don't think I got a perfect one. <laughs> I was eager to meet you. Even we still have a million little flakes. Nice work rolling me up. As you can see, I'm a snow boy. I won't last forever. Thank you for making me. I want to share some special knowledge. Check your Nook phone for recipes for a frozen counter. Normally, you can only get this stuff when you make the most perfect version of me, but it's my birthday today and we're meeting for the first time. Okay, I did not do it right, but that's okay. We'll, we'll try again. For your first snow folk, I look pretty good. Okay. A little more practice that could be perfect okay well we tried gamers now we have a sentient snowman on our island that's fine <laughs> accidentally pushed the bigger piece on top of the smaller one <laughs> i've done that before too and then it's like a bobblehead it's lopsided um i know he looks so close to perfect to me i think he's just being a bit of a hater but whatever i don't have time for that Let's go to our end soon screen. I'm just gonna pause incoming raids, if I can find the button, yeah. So that way um, people can know to send their love elsewhere. I think I know who I wanna raid already today. Let me see what's cooking on Twitch. Oh, where are they? They were scheduled to be live today, but if they're not live, then obviously I can't, oh nope, they're live, Never mind. I'm just illiterate. Okay, found them. <laughs> it is an Animal Crossing stream. Oh, they just got raided. So we're gonna double raid. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go send Allie a double raid because Allie just got raided. Allie is an Animal Crossing streamer and the leader of Pinecone, the stream team that I announced today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Oh, thank you for that hydrate. I'll get you guys the end command as well. 
If you haven't followed already and you want to come back for a future stream, feel free to follow. It's free. The link to my Discord and Twitter are in chat as well. It was so lovely hanging out. Here are our raid messages. I will be live tomorrow, but I have some plans um, a little far away. So I'm hoping to be live around like 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern time. But it basically will come down to whatever time I get home, because it's kind of like an hour drive home tomorrow for me and there might be some traffic. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Thank you, everyone, for being so supportive today about um, me changing the channel up a little bit. It was a really nice way to start the new year to have all of your support. I love you guys so much. Um, I don't know what we're going to stream tomorrow. You know me. I stream a lot of The Sims, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, all of that stuff. So it'll be one of those things. Maybe we'll play more Animal Crossing. Maybe we'll do something else. Whatever floats our boat. One minute to 9 p.m. Happy 9 p.m. for you. Um, with that being said, though, I'm going to go get some other things done and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Grab those raid messages, like I said, um, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye, everyone.